you can hear me better now, okay. Um, yeah. Desktop audio is minus 34 decibels. Uh, nine. All right. Well, you're the main person I wanted to do this for, so let's just go. We'll see how it is. I think it even goes in. Oh, that is loud. Oh, I am turning that down. Okay. C can you see that fine, but not too loud? I don't want to deafen myself either. All of the title music is always loud. Yeah, yeah, it is. This is. Oh, it doesn't work with the controller. I guess we're going keyboard mode. Keyboard mode. Is it all fine now, or is it. Do I need to turn anything up or down? <laughs> oh my god. I already know what the start of this is like, and it is so bad. And I'm not even exaggerating. Like, watch. Like, what is this? So this is the first ever RPG I ever made. Um, can I make this bigger? No. I know one of them is f full screen, but this one isn't. So in RPG Maker XP, which is his made on, when you play stuff, you have like three layers. But I didn't know about that, so I put everything on the bottom layer. Which means... Oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot I put this in the game. That's the game over screen, alright. Uh, so what I was trying to say is yeah, um, as you can see, you can walk under these. These things are supposed to be like on layer 2 or layer 3, and the path is obviously on layer 1. And I don't know, right, I don't know why these have boxes around them. Alright, now I'll explain you the names. Well, Galuf is pretty obvious. Dark Kane. It's because he's a dragoon, but he doesn't look like Kane, so I'll call him Dark Kane. And then we got Trunks, which yes is from Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh my god, this is... And Gerard. That one's the most unique one there. And he's just an old man. Ironically, Gerard is the only one who's actually, like, survived all of this, like, into my current game. But they're not called Gerard anymore. And they're not even a guy. They're called Silas. <laughs> it gets it, it gets worse. Uh, all right. I don't even know if there any enemies before this. <laughs> oh, how do I click on it? <laughs> Thanks for releasing me. Now die. Oh my god, why is there white boxes? I don't get it. Ronald's ghost? I don't lie, Ronald was in from the very start, like... Except he looks really weird here. Not even a transition, like, what was that? Huh, where are we? It can't be. We're in my hometown of Ashura. Let's go and look for some of your friends then. Okay, maybe they will know what was in the bow tree. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have three games, but this is the middle one. This is actually the first one I made, but it's the there's a prequel and a sequel. They're both shit, but all three of them are shit. But yeah, I'm just playing it in order of when I made it. Galuf, you're back! How nice to see you again! I'm sure the Elder would want to speak to you! <laughs> now, now, I didn't even know how to make a world map, but you'll see what happens. You'll see what I mean by that. Galfy back! Yay! Come play when you have time, please! I should not be voice acting, but I mean, I got to. Got to. <laughs> so you think you're better than me? The legendary Cyrus? We'll go and prove it. Go to Science Cave, it's northeast of here, and bring back the science seed, and I'll give you the reward. The dialogue is so shit, like, I don't even capitalize the eyes. I, I don't even spell things right. Hey, uh, let me dance your troubles away. Oh, 
Oh, I can walk through that. Okay. Hi, I'm a person. My favourite thing is my pet, Noxy Cat. I know that the, the tea was cut off, but I know it says Noxy Cat. Oh, there's filled with monsters. Good way to get cash. Good way to have a young death. This is the shop. I don't know if you could tell. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I mean, I don't know how you wouldn't be able to tell this is the shop. I mean, you go to a shop. This is exactly what it looks like in real life, right? I don't know about in America, but that's how shops look like to me in Scotland, by the way. Just giant purple textures for no reason. Come on, I didn't even press the windows right. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh. Oh, God, I've, I've been seeing you in ages. How are you doing? Never mind, we have more pressing matters at hand. Entire cities are being silenced and we don't know why. God, if maybe you and your friends can go search to the east. Our old friends of Guacamole should live there. Though we haven't heard from them in a while. Watch out, there have been reports of monsters outside the town lately. Uh. You won't find a single original name in any of these. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking, man. I'm glad I got rid of it. If you want to know, this part, this part, this game here is actually... You know the second part of the game that I made that I gave to you? That is supposed to be this part of the game. Uh, and the prequel to this would be the beginning of the other game. Of course, it's completely different now, but yeah. Yeah, this is the world map, by the way. Um, it's more like... It's more like Zelda than um, anything else. <laughs> Zelda or, you know, games where you have screens and then you go to another screen. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the Cyan Cave. This cave is still in the game. It's just completely different. Um, this is the cave that you go up and you fight Millie at. Yeah. Or you first fight Ronald at the end, but not in this one. And you'll notice I have no idea what I was doing because, look, I got a high potion, right? Okay, I'm going to fight these because the last time when I tried to run away, um, I was under leveled and I kept dying. So, I'm going to actually kill them. Although I don't know if the game's broken. I think it isn't. I think you can still complete the game, but I don't know. I think you can complete the game because I fucked up, actually. I think that's how you can complete the game. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I didn't even put victory music. That's so stock. Alright, so you go in here to this amazing room. But then you come out and the potion's back. So you could just get infinite potions. Alright guys. What does thou think you could do with my treasure? The most amazing boss ever. Cyan Ghost. <laughs> these these games aren't that long, so it won't take too much of your time. I just wanted to share because I thought they were bad. Oh he's dead already, I'm moved. It's not very nice. Dark cane. Do I even have reses? No. It is what it isn't. It's fine, because you get like... You can actually get infinite money because of the... Because I fucked up. Like, I'm not going to try and play this legit. I just want to show it off. And also, I get to laugh at it. Most amazing boss ever. Wow, you got the science seed. You know, I'm scared to click on that because I think what would happen is I would actually I would actually have to fight him again. I don't really fancy fighting them again. Don't mind if I do. You like the fanfare music? That's default fanfare music. Like I didn't come up with that. 
or take it from another game that's default with this thing. And it is pretty decent, I will give it that, like it's not obno super obnoxious or anything, but yeah. Nah, the best boss is later in the game, it's not the end boss, it's technically not even a boss. But man, he is majestic. Don't worry, I learned about this pretty quickly to get rid of the purple stuff. Um, by pretty quickly, I mean not in this version of the game. Okay, so you can just get healed instantly here. And then this guy is like, wow, got the sand seed, nice huge reward. <laughs> and you can get infinite money. <laughs> like, oh my god. I'm glad I learned how to stop this shit. And yeah, no, I'm cheating, but fuck it. No one's gonna care. It's so I can, like, actually beat the game and not fuck up, you know? Like, why? Why? I don't get it. Why have I got these things that I can't even equip in the game? Do this. Oh, you can. Okay. There's probably better gear, but eh. Why can they equip shields? I don't know. And you're not gonna know either. How? Why does this make any sense? This is shitter than this. But it gives more. It costs more. What? Sorry, I'm going slow like this. Controls are a bit weird for me. I have felt that. Alright. And yeah, I did figure out how to make an overworld eventually, but when I made this, I didn't know, so I just used the default map size, and yeah. Now it's shit like this. <laughs> Oh shit, I didn't know Illyria was in the game, look at them. I know last time when I played this I, I got stuck because I didn't I ran away from all the enemies and I didn't cheat to farm the guild. Like how are you supposed to know how much HP your guys have? The answer is don't not allowed to know. What is this? <laughs> this town is still in the game. But this is no fair in my other game, but in here it's called Guacamelee. Such an amazing name. Guacamelee. Where am I? I did call you a weird frog creature. The story is wildly changed as well, which I'm sure you could tell by already. I mean, in the real game, you don't find Ronald in a tree. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't find Ronald in a tree. Uh, this is where you notice the encounter rate is just way too high. And like, these mages, they do about... Not even that bad damage for me, mages. Alright. Oh no, it's a dead person. Please help us. Dead? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Why? Got high potion. Phoenix down. Man, 
and I'm pretty I'm pretty uh, original. I'm calling my revives Phoenix Downs. Oof. Better not get too carried away here. What happened to Iron Brew and Cider? No, you can't go in there. The sewers. This is one of the few times where the purple isn't the worst thing ever. I mean, it's not amazing, but, like, it still kind of makes it look like you're going into another room. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> I do have skills, but it's like, why bother? Well, I know why not to bother, because there's um, a boss soon. Alrighty. I'm stealing your stuff. They went through the secret passage. The one with the white light. Please save my daughter. Except in this game. The guy with the spear, he's not in my current game. Well, technically, he is. He, he has become Blake in my current game. Obviously, he is not a part of this part of the story, and well, he is, but he's like on the bad side. But, but here he is a playable character at the start, which isn't really the thing. Here it is. Please help me. <laughs> You're gonna fetch us a high price, little girl. Hey you, you don't seem like one of my goons. Oh well, because I got to kill you. That doesn't even make any sense, because in this game, his motivation isn't even to sell a girl or anything. Why did I write that? That doesn't happen in the game. <laughs> Hi, Jen. Like, it's so terrible. I love it though. Wow, okay then. He one shot him, even with level enough. Ah, but it's okay, I have Phoenix Downs. I don't know if you can hear a little bit, but like, you can still hear the dripping. Like, I didn't even turn off the dripping for the fight. Like, come on, man. I do have to say, I kind of like this enemy design though. I wish I could use them again. I think it looks kind of cool. But that might just be me. Don't worry Jen, you didn't miss much. And there's more to not miss. Wow, that boss was so hard. Full potion. Arr, I lost to you. Well, I guess the real winner is me! <laughs> what? <laughs> what the... <laughs> what just happened? I think that thing took the girl and blasted us out of here. I guess we better look for him. He must be the one causing destruction. Maybe he'll... <laughs> Maybe he holds the key to my past. <laughs> I know I'm laughing because... <laughs> I don't get it, like, nothing in the game ever comes back about this. Okay, let's head south. I believe the port town of Balfenheim is down there. The key to his past, like, what is he talking about? I think I know, when I was making this, that character, like, his whole thing was, he did come from the sky, like, that still was even back here, except in here he lost his memory, but I didn't want to continue that because uh, Amnesia is a little bit overdone and I didn't really think it was... I feel like I just put it in there to put it in there. So I, did, I didn't do that. Not to say he can't have Amnesia or anything, I just think it didn't work for me. So I took that out. But in here, that is still the case, so he he's like... Oh, he holds the key to my past, like, what? That was his first dialogue as well. Oh my god. What is this? Can, 
can this even be called a town? Oh shit! Oh, whoa. Okay. I'm getting a little bit um, ambitious here, aren't I? <laughs> Who has a pink house? Why? Why? It's not even like a girl. It's just this fat guy. Um, I mean, you're probably right. So the games that are on my desktop are games that um, games that I haven't finished, but I still plan to play. Any game that I've finished, they go into the games folder. Obviously, emulators are their own thing, but yeah. Yes, I haven't finished Final Fantasy VI, Pixel Remaster, Zelda, and Peach. I don't even know if Zelda would have a pink room, to be honest with you. But maybe. Not pink like this, though. I am Captain Cecil. Cecil has a clown looking figure. He doesn't even look like a clown! At all! What? <laughs> I, I remember a clown guy. He stole my prize ship. The Gilgamesh. He also muttered something about destroying rats. Do you have another ship we can borrow? We need to stop him at all costs. Aye, I do. But promise you give her back. You'll need this. Got the lucky key. Use her for as long as you need to. Yes, the ship is called the lucky. <laughs> but he doesn't even look like a clown. I don't even know what I'm going on about. Like. This makes no sense. I mean, I, I know Ronald McDonald's a clown, but like, he's not supposed to look like a clown. Or was he? I can't even remember. Is there even any shops or anything here? Okay, I guess we're going on to the boat. Ooh. Why is everything away? Are you? You can't get on the ship unless you have permission. Alright, you seem to have permission from Cecil. Let's go. What's with the music? What is with this grey shit? Like, why is it going off to the top right? Like, what is going on? Rest up, we'll be in the continent of Alexandria soon. Can I even go up the stairs? I don't think I can. So I don't know why I put my character there. Why is the boat underwater? Look, trust me, I have no idea. I mean, I've completed 13 too before, just not on the PC. I've not even started it yet. But I've completed it before. Ironically, well, maybe not ironically, but to me, 13 too is my least favourite of the 13 trilogy. I mean, it's still alright, I just prefer the other ones more. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? Getting ambitious with that shake and scream. <laughs> We're under attack, prepare for bat. Sea thingy. Is this his name? Sea thingy. You know how it is. There's no there's no lightning like what? LR is my favourite, but yeah. I know a lot of people might not agree with that, but I, I think I like lightning returns. In 13, like, it's not that great. Like it's still one of my least favourite Final Fantasies, but the um it's my favorite, second favourite because the story is the best in that one, and best is like being generous because it's not that great, but like... Like this, in order of the stories, I'd say it goes 13 and 13 2, then Lightning Returns, but... Yeah, they just kind of didn't care about the story going forward, I feel like. Just didn't go very well. But then the gameplay got better. The thing what I don't like about 13 2 mainly is that... Like your third party member is a monster. Uh, that's like one of the main things I don't like. 
I I love 13 lightning returns battle system. It's the best one. It's so unique, like no other Final Fantasy has got a battle system like that. So I was like, that's pretty cool. Like three ring of strengths. Okay, mate. Whoa, good thing we had you on board, otherwise we would be toast. Anyway, Alexandra's just ahead. Uh, I do not want to go there. Now, last time I tried this, um, I got kind of locked out of the story. I sell weapons. But you can, like, skip, skip apart. You know, I, I liked the time in Lightning Returns because it reminded me of Majora's Mask, the Zelda game, but a lot less strict. Well, I wouldn't even say less strict because in Majora's Mask you could turn back time and all that shit, but in Lightning Returns you're stuck on that cycle. But I kind of liked that because it reminded me of Majora's Mask, which is my second favourite Zelda game. But I can also understand not liking that. I, I mean, that, that's the reason why some people don't like Majora's Mask, because of the time. Man, I just wasted all my savings, just like in real life. I don't know why I did that this slow way, but okay. Ah, you're definitely gonna need armor for this. I like. I found this out the hard way. Let me tell you that. Oh yeah, I have these rings to put on, mate. I I couldn't do that either. But to be fair, like that only unlocks if you on the last day anyway. And it gets easier if you kill like a bunch of enemies, like if you extinct a bunch of enemies, it gets more easier, but yeah, I couldn't do it either. Oh, I did fix it. In one of the saves I loaded, the music never changed, so every bo battle was the boss battle for you. Good thing I fixed that. Maybe it means I can progress. I need Trust me, you're about to see a name you'll actually recognise. Probably the only name you'll recognise from my main game. If it works. And what are these rope things? I, I just don't even know what's up with these boxes. Like. Trust me, when we get to the third game, oh my god. You'll see the worst title screen I've ever seen. It makes no sense at all. I can boost say, oh my god, I'll get banned for that. Oh my god, a mysterious boat on the grey. There's literally nothing here, but there is a reason for this. Seriously, man, the encounter rate. So bad. I can try and draw something, but I ain't drawing that. I mean, I can try and draw a cabal. Or I could just get a picture of you. Like, what? It, oh, it doesn't work. Burmisha was sealed. Your face was sealed. What am I actually supposed to do? I don't know. This is where I'm supposed to go, but I guess not. But like I said, there is a skip around there. Now you probably, if you don't see the, if you don't see the name in this game, you'll see it in the other one. Although now I'm thinking about it, is he even making it? He's a main character in this. Whatever. I'm just talking to myself at this point. <laughs> I can't believe I called this a trilogy. Like, it's actually good. Oh my god, fuck off. 
<laughs> why why is this so high encounter I just don't get it. Thank god I didn't send this one off to anybody to play. Only my brother played this one. It's kinda sad that the uh, going into the town doesn't seem to work because it's kind of important. But like I say, you can just skip it. Because I have I, I'm I'm designed as very, very stable it. Can I actually get out now? And yeah, these guys give you rings of strength every fucking time. Like I don't even need that much. Oh come on, I didn't even program that. Come on. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I I don't mind fighting these ones. Sorry, we're about to come up to the best boss in video game history. Cockatrice. Like, what? What is this flower? So that's Midgar. People say the only way in is via airship. The only airship I know of is the Gilgamesh, and that apparently got stolen. What the hell? But this is something new. As you can tell, the battling in this is so fucking boring. Like, not to say the battle in the modern game is great, but like, oh my god, this is so... It's just pressing one button, like... I'm like trying to see if there is like something else I'm supposed to do to like get to the city, and maybe I just forgot. I could like open up the RPG Maker, but... That's too much work. Oh, I didn't even program that, so... We need to go back to the town because I need to heal up. Try to go back to the town. I conveniently managed to forget about uh, an item shop, somehow. Medgar Wasteland, Ku Wasteland, Lim Blumfield. Whatever that means. The best desert you've ever seen. Yeah, you thought Q's wasteland that was gonna be a swamp? Nah. Alright, the best boss ever is coming up. If I can get away from these green things. Okay, can I regen? Great. Yeah, okay. Let's save it. Just in case I die. Don't ask. <laughs> Don't ask what that was all about. There is the best boss I've ever seen. Yeah, I did actually draw something. <laughs> oh no, there might actually be one better, actually. But still, this one's pretty good. <laughs> it's supposed to be a joke boss, but like. It was tanky as fuck the last time I fought it. This art was lost to time. Well, now it's not. Now it's returned because I can have access to it now. Oh, isn't that amazing? I get access to this amazing beast. What's it even called? Cacto Nara. Oh my god, I'm so original with that name. I wonder what I could have used as inspiration with a million quotes. Although I kind of like drawing sh stupid things. Does this count for your dr bad drawing of a thing, by the way? 
bad drawing of a cactor. To be honest, this song is so fucking weird. It's not even... It's an actual song from Final Fantasy, like... Not right now it doesn't sound weird, but it's gonna sound weird now. I wish I could say that was me who did that laugh, but... It will be eventually. I'll make a, I'll make a remix of this. Why is this thing so tanky? He doesn't even do anything. I love the amazing crop I managed to do on him. Well, now you can't see, but I'm sure you don't really want to see. The desert is so boring, there's nothing in it. Oh, wow, trees. Wherever they came from. I should fight these things. I don't really want to, but... I think the other games got a lot better than this in terms of scaling. I think. What's its name? Earthy. I don't even know, like, I probably used the default name, so what? No, I didn't. There's no way this thing's default name was Earthy. <laughs> it's not even a hair keep of Earth, like, what? Hopefully that's the last guy I have to fight. Holy shit. You can tell when I learned how to make bigger maps, like... <laughs> I kinda wish I didn't. I don't think there's a boss, so I'm just gonna blow my stuff on this. Trying to think which one's the shortest. I think this one might be the shortest game of them all. Well, it's definitely shorter when you skip half of it. Well, I can't raise him unless I find a Phoenix down. But if I find a shop to buy them, maybe I will. It's just it's hard to see the health. So, yeah, see, pick it. You're like, where did he come from? Well, in that city, you're supposed to go. Pick it appears. Yeah, pick it's been in the game from the very start. Oh my god. Obviously, he's completely different now, but... Well, we'll, we'll save that for the next game. I think so. If we can get run and travel in the world, will be much easier. May I? It says in this book that the engines must be set to two to fly. If my analysis is correct, the engine room should be below us. If you can call this an engine room. Can I go to sleep in this? I wonder if I managed to program that. Nope. Engine switch to two. Okay. I didn't even touch anything. Oh my god. Here it is, the best airship in history, and it's just a minecart. <laughs> yeah, I made it like this. This is my first time making an overworld. And I made, I didn't want to redo everything, so I just made it that I fly the airship. The quote-unquote airship. This is the town we were supposed to be able to go in, but... Oh well. Now that we got the airship, you can go into Midgar, which 
clearly, I mean, how would you not know this is Midgar? You'd have to be fucking stupid to not know that this is supposed to be Midgar. I mean, come on. It's like, look at this. This is clearly Midgar. We built walls around Midgar to keep its outsiders out. But then you come repelling down from an airship. Next, we will need a roof. Again. Memorial dedicated to the great cloud strife who saved us all twice from an evil undying angel guy. I used to work with him. Back then I was called Sid. I also gave up being a cursing dragoon and became a nice settled down wizard instead. Ah, sometimes I miss the old life. <laughs> really, man. So that means Jurad is supposed to be Sid from Final Fantasy VII. Okay then. I don't, I'm not going to keep doing dialogue for characters that just say the same thing. I sell weapons, armor, and goods. Ooh, daring army. What's a phoenix wing? Why has it got a different name all of a sudden? Oh, I only get one choice. Uh, I hope I would actually click the button. Ring of Strength doesn't even raise anything, so why is it called that? Save it here. Chancellor Cheval the set six. <laughs> oh, you can tell when I played Type Zero for the first time. <laughs> I don't recognize you. You must be outsiders. How did you get into Midgar? Chancellor, it is me, Sid. We got into Midgar by airship. Ah, Sid. Long time now, see. How was the year spared you? How? Okay. They have been fine. However, something evil is stirring. An evil demon named Ronald is attempting to destroy the world. And both Ashura and Alexandria. By the gods! And I thought we would be safe from harm in here. Nowhere safe while he is around. Hang on, what's that banging at the door? Ha 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 ha! Mortal beings, you shall perish before me! Hail Ronald! Is it that? Never mind that! Prepare for battle! The most amazing boss ever. It's so amazing, it got rid of Galaf's portrait. Like, how much more amazing could you get? Medea birth. Medea is that character who was supposedly getting sold by sold by Ronald. As you can see, that completely changed. I I don't know what's up with this sprite, but that is what it is. Oh, trust me. The title of the screen, the title of the uh, the video. <laughs> Definitely shows I don't think this is badass. <laughs> this is so bad. Definitely bad. Uh, definitely ass, but not badass. Also high, high taxes. Oh god. I remember dying on this on my last playthrough. Can I actually press the right buttons? Who is Ronald? Uh, Ronald is the main villain of the game. Um, he's a demon, and yes, he was named after Ronald McDonald. <laughs> apparently, I didn't know what I was doing because I didn't know what I was doing because apparently near the start of the game I called him a clown, but then he's now not a clown. Like what? I made this years and years ago, so. Even I don't remember. Uh, I suppose you're right there. Man, the battles are so boring, right? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. Alright then. Guess I'm dead. <laughs> 
Oh my god. That didn't happen before. Yeah, except in this game, um, it ended with me losing. I can't believe I'm saying this, I might need to grind. I don't want to grind in a shitty RPG like this. Like, oh, I can get rid of all this stuff. Wait, how much is this selling for? Oh, I thought, for, I thought it was selling for like one gil. That would have been so shit. I'm sorry. This is the first. This is the first time you you see the stream of something so shit. But I'm streaming it because I wanted to laugh at it. <laughs> like I don't even spell right. I should get armor because that's what got me killed before there. Well, there, there's my armor. I got to buy two armors. I guess we'll see. I didn't get killed by that before, so I don't know. Maybe I'm under leveled. I didn't even run away from anything this time. Just skip the dialogue. <laughs> it's not even like the final boss or anything, so. I don't know why I'm using this song. Well, I mean, it is a good song. Although I can bring out the hot takes and say that it's actually one of my least favourite battle themes from Final Fantasy IX. But don't. <laughs> Just pretend you didn't hear that. Because it's kind of not even true. The worst battle theme from Final Fantasy IX is the fairy battle theme because it reminds me of the um, whatever it's called. I can't remember, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I think this entire game used mostly Final Fantasy IX songs. Even to this day, Final Fantasy IX is one of my favorite OSTs, but yeah. Even the names, like, every name is just ripped from how I say it's so shit. I, I think there might be a couple songs, like, that might not be from Final Fantasy 9. I'm not sure. But pretty much all of them are. Oh, I should use Grey Area here. I hope I don't die again. Because that attack she used was... Oh. oh okay, that was easy. Ha ha ha! I'll be back soon! Phew, we got her. Seems she was an agent of Ronald. I believe that was the girl who was kidnapped by Ronald back in Guacamelee. What did Ronald do to that girl? I don't know. But I do know that it isn't the last time we will see her. We should finish discussing with Cheval. Hi, Beb hi, Bebder Game. How are you, Dame? Uh, thanks for the follow. I didn't pop on the screen who did it, but I'm just gonna say thanks for the follow anyway. Uh, I pre appreciate it, really. <laughs> It's Bebder, maker of Bebder game. Mm. I thank you for dealing with that thing. No problem. Anyway, you should head to Alexandria Castle now. Here, take this proof. They should let you in. Thanks, Cheval. See you later. Got Alexandria Pass. You can tell I had no idea what I was doing because of all this purple shit. Oh my god. I'm still pretty RPG maker. I use MV now. But it's a lot better than this. I wouldn't, I'm not going to sit here and call my current game amazing or anything. But whew, it's at least original. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, I thought you were just making a joke. I didn't know there was actually a Bebder game. I'm not really, like, well versed in the RPG Maker community. I actually didn't really know there was a community for it. Yeah, the airship uh, is a minecart. 
Yep. Oh, you. You have a pass. All right, you do. Okay, go in. Top 10 best castles in video game history. Hello, I am Queen Faris. What brings you to my castle? Your Majesty, the world is in grave peril. An evil demon named Ronald is plotting to destroy our world of Gaia. Oh my, and where do you think this Ronald is now? I believe we should search somewhere. And where do you suppose we search? Uh, Mount Colts, north of Guacamole Town. Then it is settled, we will search Mount Colts for Ronald and hopefully put a stop to his schemes. I wish you luck, the whole world depends on you. We won't let you down. So what was the point of coming here? What was the point? Uh, unfortunately not. I wish we had to fight the Wizard up bears, but we don't. I forgot that I had the airship. The amazing water. Oh my god, this is so shit. But what is with these grass? Why is there random grass there? I don't even know. I made this game and I don't even know. I'm gonna go get healed though, because I know that I died here on my other playthrough. I actually know how to land. I've not played or seen your game, but I'm gonna agree that your game's awesome. Although I might check it out now that now that it's been mentioned. I'm not I'm not very good enough to make an RPG maker game that doesn't look like an RPG maker game. But I still like to tell a story, so fuck it. I don't know why I'm going here. What was this dialogue? Uh, um, y y yes, I sell daily g goods. Okay, mate. Okay. Phoenix down. Wow. Map. I I'm actually curious, like, what does this do? I'll, t I'll test that outside so then you fuck it up. Nice. Nothing. So what was the point? I know it's one screen over, but yeah, I'm going in the airship because the encounter rate's way too high. Oh my god, we can go in. My last playthrough ended here because I couldn't kill the boss, but hopefully this time I can. I mean, I have I have done it all like way back in the day, but yeah. Whoa, okay, that's being generous because I don't know if I would say that, but. Yeah, I suppose maybe it does. I, I don't know. This is the worst bit because I get really fucking lazy at the end here. I'm always glaring at people. What do you mean nobody uses glare? enemies all the time. I should probably save it. Aluria, you're gonna recognize this guy, or the name of him anyway. Defeat me and one seal is broken. Oh no, it's Axel Prime. Ah! <laughs> Actually, you'll probably recognize all of the ninjas. Like, really? He is so strong. Why is he so strong? What do you mean? I don't know if you're talking about me or... Or if you're talking about... You're probably talking about the other guy's skin. I have no idea. <laughs> he has jump. I just realized he's like the same texture as Ronald. That was uh, not even intended. Man, these white boxes, like what is going on?
I love the Final Fantasy IX boss team as well. It's one of the one of the best. Oh shit! I forgot he's fire based. I don't know how I could not tell he was fire based. Final Fantasy IX is my favorite Final Fantasy. Though. Has been back then, and it still is now. Despite my name being Gallop. Aye, that's all I can think about with this song is the stealing. <laughs> steal couldn't steal. Especially Hell Giggers. That that guy can fuck off like. How strong is this guy? There better be like a heal. There's no way I can fight four bosses in a row. And yeah, I know there's four bosses. Man, this guy's got like infinite health. What is going on? I know one of my versions of this game are uh, not this one. But one of them, I, I made this boss and he was supposed to be immune to death, like the effect death from like, like when you have a weapon it's like 10% death or something. But what actually happened was it made him like he couldn't die at all, so that was great. I sat there for like 30 minutes trying to kill this boss that I made. What, like I don't even know how I managed to make the textures this bad. Oh, there is no heal. I don't really feel like fighting these dogs. Defeat me and the second seal will shatter. <laughs> like, what the hell is this thing? Shiver freeze. Oh, nice. I don't think that's worth it, but nice. One is all, all is one. You'll never break the seal. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but yeah, I agree. Is there like a way to regain DMP? Ether. Okay, I'll give you that. Nice. Increases strength, but I can't use it. Hopefully I can actually get through these guys, because we're actually near the end. I'm glad that people will be so happy that we're near the end. I'll be happy as well. I don't know if any of you have ever used RPG Maker XP, but if you have, you'll know that almost everything in this has been default graphics, and I hate it because like, you got to at least download some graphics from the internet, right? I don't know. I really don't know, Bender. Because I'm pretty sure in the other RPG Maker XP game, it wasn't like that. I just want to be transparent that I made... That I made this, um... I made this, like... How, how long ago was this, like? At least eight years ago. <laughs> So, yeah, it's going to be shit. It was my first one I made as well. That's the reason why I'm playing it now, because I just wanted to, like, laugh at it, because it's so bad. But also see which ideas I kept. I, uh, any idea that I did keep was pretty much completely changed, though, so... Basically not even the same idea. And even that stuff is probably prone to change. Like, why has this guy got a random Ju Judy Judaism star on his team? Like, I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, it's all default RTP. I'm I'm not good at art at all. Even now, I'm shit at art. So most of my stuff, if I get it, is either I downloaded it from the internet or. 
Or I got someone else to make it, like my nephew or something. I see you on the, see you see you get it like even your shit games like you you still like adapt to make it like at least try to make it good. At least good in your mind. I, I'm not saying that yours is bad or anything. I'm literally saying that about me. Like I think mine's is all right now. I mean I'm not gonna say it's good, but it's all right. I, for one. The enemies are not, they are transparent, so they don't have a random white box, so there is that. Nice. To make the pixel art. I've tried making some art for my game and I have a couple of things, but not much. The best one I made was this airship thing. It doesn't look that amazing, but I was kind of proud of it, so I kept it. There was two enemies in this game, this one here, that were made by me, and you'll 100% be able to tell. Well, you've missed one of them, but there is one more. Aye, that nice. Uh, making music is also a hard thing. All my music is just taken from other sources than now, but I'm not planning to ever release the game with all that. I would want to replace it with original stuff too. But, um, I don't really know how to make music anymore. I probably could do it if I tried, but it's been like years and years. How do you get the music done then? Do you like do you like uh, commission people or or do you have like a friend who does it? Oh nice. You have team teammates. Oh my god, he's finally dead. And that was only the second one. What is this? How many times have I said that today? What is this? What is that? Should have found more items to buy. Better run away from them Alurias. You'll never break the third seal. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool that you've got friends to help you do that. I've not paid anyone either. Although, if I ever was to release the game for money, I would pay the people who helped me, no problem. It's only fair, right? Hydraxis, absolute. I spelled Hydraxis wrong, come on, man. It's Hydraxis, S, I, S. Not us. Woofed, nice. That did a lot of damage, maybe we'll actually get past this boss. Oh, okay. Oof. Not bad. Are you saying that's what you bought, or is that what you've sold as? Although I think it, what you're saying is that's what you've bought. RPG Maker 2003. I've never used that one. I've used XP, which is the first one, uh, VX Ace, and MV. Those are the three I've used. I have heard of Ace Sprite. That's for pixel art, right? I think so. Oh my god. The controls are so weird to me on this. The only thing I use to make art right now is Gimp, because it's free. <laughs> but it's probably not the best for pixel art. It gets the job done, but yeah.
it'd be easier if you had like a pad or something than a mouse. At least to me. Well, maybe not with pixel art, but like with actual art, it might be easier with, without a mouse. Although my hand's a bit shaky, so I'm not very good with good with art, but hey. Oh, I can imagine paint being a little bit awkward to use constantly. dead. If only the boss could be too. I've only got one more boss to beat after this. Ah, it has no layers is the main thing for me. Like, I'm not that big of an artist, but I know that layers are important. It's also, I don't know about anyone else, but when I'm exporting stuff from paint, like I can never get it to be transparent. It always has a white background, like this. Obviously, I didn't put these art through um, paint because these are default, but I, so I don't know why they have a blank, blank background, but yeah. Any art that I did put from paint, because I did use paint to make two enemies. Uh, yeah, they had a white background. Even with Gimp, it took me a while to get rid of all that, but then I figured out it's not that complicated. I love that the music goes just silent for a bit and it just comes back. Man, these bosses take forever. Alluria, you'd probably recognise that these bosses, they do appear in the next proper game but their order is switched and obviously this cave is nowhere near the same it's like not even the caves position is the same but like when you go in it's not a cave it's like a weird magic place what are these black balls oh shit nice well they the name would sound familiar, the looks of it wouldn't, but yeah. I want to see what happens if you go here. A light beams from a head, do you want to? Oh, fuck that. Who would ever do that? Oh my god. Oh my god, goblins. Goblins are so weak, why are they in like the final dungeon? Goblins scare you. I uh, can't they blame you really, like they look pretty weird in this game for sure. Why is he here? Oh what Not again <laughs> Uh I thought this was just like a side boss. I didn't know I put him in the final not the final dungeon, but like near the end, like what the hell? Well, I guess you do get to see <laughs> one of both my arts. This is one of them. <laughs> oh. It's so original. It's literally just a really bad drawing of a cactor. It's called Cactunara. Oh my god. I love it. It's so shit, but I love it. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting it here, that's for sure. I knew it was in the game, but like, oh my god, what? And the thing is, is it takes forever to kill. I'm still gonna kill it anyway. Yeah, the swole cactar with its amazing proportions.
even this song is technically from Final Fantasy IX. It's like this weird album thing. And this song, I don't even know what is on with it. I wish it was in the game. Because it sounds amazing. It's so weird, but it's... it has meows in it, okay? Right, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Swole cat door. Like, look at how it's cropped, it's so bad. What is going on with its, like, arms? This is random shit flying everywhere. Oh. I should make more art like this. Art, if you wanna, if you wanna call it art, I'll, I'll let you go and call it that. There, we killed it. Oh, we're almost there. Really? Goblins. Three out of four dead, huh? Will you never defeat me? It's a tree. Tree and quake cron. Honestly, I think this kind of, this art actually looks pretty decent. Like for default art uh, RPG maker art, this one's pretty cool. I think. You know. The piss boat, <laughs> alright. <laughs> Hopefully this one don't take so long. I take it back, this, this, I think the the next game is going to be the shortest because in this I think the enemies are tuned way too high. They take forever to kill. But hey, that's how it is, eh? You learn by making terrible things. I don't know what's going on there, but alright. I did not mean to click that. Stunned. I didn't even know I had something that could stun. These bosses take so long, I've ran out of things to talk about. <laughs> Aye, the all I want now for my game is to have not not um, music from other sources and also a lot of people use parallax mapping or something but I feel like you'd have to be like a good artist for that I've just been using like the default tiles or sometimes I find tiles from online but it still looks like an RPG maker game and that's the thing A lot of people don't like that. I don't mind it, but I can understand people who will be like, well, you didn't put any effort into it. Because a lot of people do just make RPG games where they didn't even test it and they just put it up for like £5. And then they add a bunch of DLC and shit. Never would want to release a game that's broken. Just for money. But like, if a game looks like it's made in RPG Maker, I don't personally. I don't even think that's too bad a thing. But that's just me. But I can understand. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a lot of work for one person, especially like. Oofed. And the thing is, even with tile sets, like you can probably still make it look. With just type with tile sets, but you, I guess you couldn't use the default ones. Aye, right. <laughs> Gotta get the actual game done first before you worry about all the bells and whistles. That's what I tell myself, but nobody ever follows it. And by that, I mean I never follow it. How many, I don't know if this is common, but how many times have you 
got far in a game and then you've went back and keep going back to edit old stuff because you found out new stuff and then you and to make the old stuff better but then you never get done with the new stuff. Ugh. That's a pretty annoying cycle that. How many health did I give this thing? Like how much health does it have? Ah, nice, I fucking pressed the wrong one. Oh, this isn't good. Did I even save it? Is, is that you're always your own critic like, or something like that I don't know what the saying is but you know what I mean like the person making things always gonna see it more all the flaws a lot more than pretty much everyone else which is in a way a good thing but also it can lead you to being like oh this is never good <laughs> a good villain, that's for sure. It's always good to take inspiration from good villains, as long as you didn't copy them, I suppose. But like, I have no idea, I'm literally just talking because I've never played your game, <laughs> just talking in general terms. I mean, you got to have a crazy character in your game, you can never not, right? That's a joke, of course you can, but... <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, I mean, the last stretch then. That is a true thing. If someone appears late in a the demo, then then there is a chance that he could look a lot worse than he will actually end up being. Because he just has not time to appear. I mean, I don't know if that is the case, but yeah. Alright, back to voice at them. Whoa, where are we? I think we we're in the heart of Mount Colts. Who are you? You aren't Ronald? What? Who is talking? The soul of the crystal. Amazing. Um, we are warriors. Looking for where Ronald is. Ah, so you've come to rescue us from our suffering. Ronald has used our power to create a dimensional rift in Gaia. To destroy this rift, you must destroy Ronald. However, his true, his true strength is too much for you. But with my help, you can ascend to greater power. Wait! Crystal, I must ask you something. Who am I? You don't remember? You are one of the four sacred warriors. Oh my god. Cloud, Zedane, Iridia, and Cain. 
<laughs> Why Radiana? Where did she come from? She's not a bad character name, but so random. So I am from Burmisha? Yes, after a long battle against the evil ex dev <laughs> You sacrifice to save yourself. No, you sacrifice yourself to save the others and destroy ex dev forever. <laughs> So why am I here, alive? I know not of the reason. However, whatever it is, you must not let feelings of your death overwhelm you. I won't, I promise. Anyhow. Imagine this great all-powerful crystal and he's just saying, Anyhow, I shall grant you my power now. <laughs> now go to Ronald's base in the azure ocean it is. Good luck forever oh my god and these are this is so bad because like what they've done what i've done is i just all these levels didn't matter you just got put up to level 50 anyway <laughs> kane wise trunks black mage gerard and omega gallop man i like how gallop sprite doesn't even change here Also gonna cheat and get my money back. Get my infinite money. Alright, that's enough. Fuck okay. it. I got bored of it instantly. I am gonna go make sure we're like fully armored up. Although to be fair, oh, oh, they are already fully armored up. Oh look, the uh, minecart is now no longer a minecart. Um. Now I'm flying by walking? This is still supposed to be an airship. No one would ever know where this quote unquote rift is gonna be. Oh my god, what is this? This is a battle arena for heroes in the crystal moon, like, fight? Oh. Um, what the fuck? Uh huh. Sure. I guess this is to get EXP. Thank god we're near the end. This is the last quote unquote dungeon, if you want to call that a dungeon. How much EXP is that? Oh, Alright, Cam Dune. That was enough, like, once you're inside, you can't get out until you've done. Okay. The, the option was yes or no. There wasn't even a question. Wait, what's that? Oh no, I think it's a girl again. Something looks different this time. Oh my god. I, I don't know if you could tell already, but the names of the boss is... Just the Genova names from my last seven. I'm like, I was. What is. Why? I've, I've just run out of things to say. I hope you're not expecting Ronald to actually look like a clown, because he doesn't look like him at all. <laughs> the badass is returned. Oh, well, not really badass when he does like zero damage to you. Uh, uh, yes, you could say it's my game, my first game I ever made. <laughs> if you see the stream title, you can see that it is terrible, and it's definitely not an exaggeration. It is bad. Also, hi, Violet. Turn in Violet. I wouldn't, on the stream, I wouldn't call a game terrible if I didn't make it, because it's a little bit for me to do. If someone else did, I wouldn't care about I would feel good doing it. Phew, we beat her. Let's get in here and finish this. Uh, the music's good, but the dungeon is terrible. It's random floaty bits. 
I think I actually stole this idea from Final Fantasy IX. You know when you get into the crystal bit and then like every encounter is like a crystal version of like the bosses or something. But they give you like no XP so you just run away from them. Okay, I don't know why the music has to change, but alright. Aye, they don't give you XP. I've never killed any of them because I just run away from them. Because they give no XP. I might have killed one, but no anymore. Can you heal yourself or do I have to heal myself a lot? Oh, I am. Okay. Here it is. The final boss. Oh, my God. So you finally made it. I don't want to waste time talking or fighting. Medea? Yes, Master. Deal with these wounds. As you command. Don't know what the fuck was the point of fighting now, like two seconds ago, if we're just gonna fight it again, but sure. Sure. Probably shouldn't use too much, because there is like a never boss. <laughs> More forms in the scene. Oh god, no, this is the last one. Like, the whole design of it being like an angel looks quite cool, but then I don't. The, in, the instrument part just ruins it for me. I know it's default, like. But, like, it's default to the RPG game, but I just don't really like it. I can't be asked wasting all my spells. The character did remain in my game now, but nowhere near the same. Uh, for one, she's a party member. Two, different name. Yeah, all that shit. Completely different story. Oh, really? Oh, I've made a few that are all <laughs> bigger than that, I suppose. <laughs> They're not very good, but they are there. But it's fun to do, really. Like, even if it's shit, it's just fun to share it with people and just laugh. Yeah, this one's a trilogy, if you want to call it that. The third one doesn't even finish. I never finished it. I, I made all this on the trials. Like, I wasn't even what RPG maker. You get the 30 day trial, you know? <sighs> oh no, I think they knocked the slave crown off. Well, better deal with you myself. Ronald Maximus. Right then. Maximus. Nah, but I did. Like, I did. But the game I'm making now is this trilogy, but it's like completely changed and it's just one game because it didn't need to be a trilogy. It's too short. I suppose, yeah. I was young though, so I didn't have anything to do. Like, I just had school. Now, obviously, have jobs and stuff. Don't have that much time to do it. I don't have the patience anymore. Like, uh, the one I'm making, like, I make it. I can do it for a bit, and then I'll just leave it for a while. My brain comes up with ideas and jot them down and stuff, but I never really finished it. Like, and then every few months I'll go back and then I'll like get really into it and then I'll just build on more into it. But um, obviously you can't do that if you haven't bought the game, the RPG Maker. Like, I bought RPG Maker MV because when I got my first, or my first laptop that wasn't the family's laptop, it was also on sale for £20 and I was like, fuck yeah man. So I did. Ronald was the most intimidating boss's <laughs> name this boss could get. <laughs> well, the way you say that was quite funny. I when I was first jotting up the ideas for this entire thing, the original villains was Ronald McDonald and Kefka. The name Ronald stuck, but he was never a clown anymore or anything like that. Wow. We're back, all of us. 
And Medea? Where is Medea? I don't know. <laughs> we finally defeated Ronald. Ugh. What, what happened? Oh, you're awake. Oh yeah, you were in that cave where the evil thing was. Last I remember I was in some dungeon place strapped to the wall. It's okay, well, now Ronald is dead. Can I return to my home now? I, I I'm sorry, but your home is gone. And so is your mother. Well, let's go find them then. No, Medea. Guacamelia is destroyed, and your mother <laughs> is dead. No! How could this happen? If you think revenge will solve anything, then we've already done it for you, Kane. Sorry, just stay on what could be true. Medea, if you wish we could get you a new home. Aye, I know someone who wants a child. Okay then, Medea, will you go to this family? Um, okay. <laughs> One is like you, with the ears and all. Really? What is their name? Fran. Galif, you really think we should give her to some sky pirates? Got no choice, do we? Okay, let's get her to Fran and Balfour. <laughs> I guess they did that all off screen. And yeah, we did win high taxes. Aye, ah, RPG Maker, like, it's not even intensive. You can run it on practically anything, it's great. Ah, Midgar again. I love this place. Whatever. <laughs> it is I, the mighty Hiver. Ain't no rest for the awesome. This will be easy. Your knowledge is your weakness, Hiver. Another battle, another day. <laughs> the true final boss. <laughs> the Hiver. Do you know what I, the reason why I came up with this was because um, at the end of The Incredibles they have like this whole victory thing and then at the very end the mole man comes out and then they're like getting ready to fight. <laughs> That's what made me come up with this. I don't even know how hard this boss is, to be honest. I just remember I made it. And yes, this is the final boss, you know. I kinda don't wanna play the other games, because they're gonna be less funny than this one. Well, maybe it is. Okay. That was easy. <laughs> I have been beaten! Well that's over I guess. Let's head back to Ashura. The end. Really? I couldn't just write the end? <laughs> Created by gruntace101 slash Galaf. Congratulation on beat Ronald. Rest up for next game. Ashura 2. Angel Delight. Uh, that never happened. Don't forget to try the prequel, Ashura Crystal Warriors. That's not its name. Goodbye. <laughs> and then it just takes you here again. Okay, there you go, that's it done. I do remember when I first wrote that it said try the secret dungeon, Dragon's Den, but obviously I never made a secret dungeon, Dragon's Den, so I must have took that one. Alright, there we go, that's the first one done. Uh, let's go to the second one. Which is actually the prequel. Pickett's Odyssey. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have no idea why it's like that, but yeah. Alright, let's go play this one. At least the third one is um full screen. But this one's not. Different title screen music. Well, you won't be able to know because you didn't join in at the start, but yeah. It's a new game. Dad. I don't know why he's called Dad when he's technically not the dad, he's the picket, but yeah. Here it is. This is where it all began. 
Continent Terra. Time, 8 o'clock. Why would you put the time? November the 28th, 1578. Okay. Apparently it's one day before my birthday. And it has the Terra song. Yeah, it's true. What is it, Pickett? Dad, I think there's something outside. There's probably nothing. Blar, ha ha ha. I require that child to fuel my death angel plan. Give him to me now. Not you, Ronald. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm not used to laughing, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, not you, Ronald. I'll never give Pickett away. So be it. I'll take him by force. Pickett was in the other game, but I fucked up and I couldn't get... Like, I don't know what happened, but I couldn't find him in that playthrough, I just did. Like, the, so I had to skip him. But he technically was there. So be it, I'll take him by force. Yep. The return of Ronald. Well, this is a prequel to the world, you know, Ronald's fate. Well... The thing is, this is the only time you ever see Ronald <laughs> in the entire game. Now that you are out of the way, even though you're already out of the way anyway, I will get your son. No. I guess we'll never know what happened. Got 1,000 gold. Bow tree treasure. That's the Galaf from the last game. I guess you can't talk to him. And you can already notice one improvement. There's no purple stuff anywhere. Like, I actually figured out the layers. Kind of. Oh. Hi, I'm a traveler warrior. I've been to all the continents in Gaia except Alexandria. I'm going there in a few days, though, to see Midgar. By the way, my name is Steiner. Adelbert Steiner. I am Adelbert Steiner's son. Uh, this game is not that earlier. It's like a few days. It's really, really just a few days. But like this is this Offman game I'm making now. This is the start, uh, and the one that we just played was like the second part. But it's all one game, and it's completely different. The only thing that's the same is that it's Pickett's the name. And his dad dies at the start, but it's completely different how he dies. Yeah, the lack of white box is finally gone. Yeah. Hi, I'm Midia. I live in Guacamole. I'm going back soon. If you see my auntie in the southern swamp, tell her I said hi. Okay. Yo, Pickett, how you doing? You do realize you're late for the Imperial Festival? Come on, get your ass moving, let's go. Vegnagun. Man, his name's changed so much. He's called Vegnagun here, and then the next time I made it, he was called Vegna, and then the next time I made it, he's called Gary. Changes his name every two seconds, like. Just need to wait for my slaves to pitch my circus tent and let the cash roll in. <laughs> I love festivals. I even came here from Lindblom. It's the port town on the north of the Alexandria continent. I'm so bad at voice acting. Aye, Gary is an upgrade. Although it's kind of funny, you got all these fantasy names and you just got Gary. Where is Gallif? We're supposed to be heading out to the island of Bao. Wait, did you hear all that? Sorry, I'm out with wires. I'm not going to voice act these guys because they're just shopkeepers. Death to the tropical faction! Hi, I'm Edward. I'm a prince of a distant kingdom. Also, part-time bard. I hope the Empire can protect my daughter. So who does better frog? Tropical or Empire? <laughs> oh no, I forgot I did this. Oh no. Akatosh be with the Empire. If nobody knows what that is yet, you'll probably get an idea soon enough. Back in my day, we never had any rebels or empires, just corrupt prime ministers like David Cameron, okay. Okay. P 
pretend you didn't see that, especially if you like David Cameron, if you even know who he is, but yeah. Daddy, isn't Tropical a drink? No, daughter, that's Tropicana. Look, I was like 15 or something. Look, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I could, I, all the Prime Ministers are bad. Alright, there we go. That's, that's a good way of doing it. Oh, another war. Can't wait to go home. Maybe this will be a good subject for the new book. I better make sure Shura stays out of this war. The greatest leader you'll ever see. Yo, Pickett, we barely made it. Emperor Sephiroth is beginning his speech. <laughs> you moan too much, Peg the Gun. In this time of crisis, the very foundation of the Terran Empire is at risk. The rebel faction known as the Tropical Faction is threatening to destroy us. To stop them, we must band together and keep strong. Our forces are still in search for the rebel leader, Marco Moreno. However, if you notice anything suspicious, please let the guards know at once. I thank you for your time and let the festival return. That's alright, Bebdar. Thanks for coming in and good luck with your stuff. Ah, uh, bye. <laughs> Crowd cheers. Damn rebels, yo. I think we could take do better than those Terran army dudes. Maybe we should go look for Mestina. I think she's in the forest of Mur to the east. Let's go, yo! <laughs> Such a bad character. Um, yeah. Yeah, Emperor Sephiroth, we are in good hands. Best Emperor you'll ever see. Nice star. But at least the enemies don't know white backgrounds. Yeah, at least in this version of the game, I actually made an overworld wall rather than the Zelda one type. It's default, everything. Mesidia, Mesida, the Imperial Capital, Forest of Will, Northern Fields, Southern Fields, Eastern Reach. Okay. I don't even like the Final Fantasy X battle theme, so why have I used it? I hate saying that I like I've adapted this into a new game because it makes it like I don't want this to ever be linked, but like it is true, I've done that. Aye, I mean that's definitely true. This is why I did the other one first, because even though this is a prequel, I wanted to um, I wanted to make it look less jarring. Hmm. Where is she? Where is who? Whoa, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> what do you want, Vega? Oh, I should not try to put my girl's voice. Oh, Pickett is there too. Hi, Pickett. Uh, we want you to help us. Help with what? We're going to prove we're better than the Terran army by defeating the Tropical Faction. Oh, so there's going to be lots of fights? Probably, but also lots of treasure and sightseeing. Perhaps you will also be helped preserving nature? Well, if you put it that way, I guess I'll help you. But where should we start? Hmm, maybe we should go west. Oh yeah, to the mining town of Bujerba. Are you two done talking? Yo, pick it, why you always have to be like that? Anyways, let's go. Mistina. In this, she's an archer, but in my other game, she's a con, uh, like a healer, and she's also not even called Mistina, she's called Farina. And these three characters are linked. There is a fourth character that joins, but I don't think I ditched her really, she doesn't appear anymore. Obviously, like I say, in this game it's really bad, but yeah. It'd be kind of weird to compare it because the next game, the 
the last one I'm going to show off today is it is using VX Ace rather than uh, RPG Maker XP. So it's going to look a lot different. It's not going to look much better though. <laughs> well, maybe. But I think the default graphics of VX Ace are better than um, XP, but that's just me. I'm so glad I got rid of all the Final Fantasy names though, man, because looking back it is so bad. I also changed it, like, in this game the desert is to the west and the swamp is to the south, but I've actually changed it, the swamp is to the west and the desert's to the, desert's to the south. Which literally doesn't make much of a difference, but, well it does when you realise the snow bit is at the north. So having the desert being west and then the snow at the north kind of doesn't make much sense. Uh, RPG Maker XP, VX Ace and um, MZ are... I didn't buy those, those are all just there so I can play the games and also they're just trials rather than bought. But MV, that one I did buy. I think you did for the old ones, right? Unless you like... Um, deployed it properly, which obviously I didn't do, but uh, for MZ you don't, and MV you don't, for sure. I just, you know, the reason why I got MZ was wanting to see how different it was to MV, and I have to say I prefer the character creator in MV, like the graphics, but I think the MZ character creator is a little bit, like he could do more with it. I don't know. Oh, phew, this place is hot. If you want the mines, then go north. I came here to get some Bajurban Madu. It's for the Queen of the Evil East Continent. Well, that doesn't even exist, but okay. Yo, this guy, he looks like Emmett Selk. What's going on? This was made before he even existed. Ah, oh, this costs way too much. I doubt I even have like a cheeky B farm. It definitely doesn't like going from VXS to MV. It's a very noticeable, but then going from MV to MZ, it doesn't seem that different. MZ is probably more polished, and it's probably better. But I'm not gonna buy a whole new thing just for that, you know. Oh my god, the first song that doesn't come from Final Fantasy. Can't believe it. Left or right? Well, I know in this game, left is the optional way, so I'll go there first. Whoa! Whoa, well, can't believe Jen is in this game. Let's see if she's still listening. Yeah, I think this one's going to be shorter than the last one. Good, because I'm in this voice acting so bad. Got 2,000 gil in the longbow, sure thing, mate. Don't even have a healer, I just realised that. <laughs> I was joking that the mimic- I was joking saying the mimic looked like you. <laughs> it, but don't worry, I said the frog thing looked like a Luria, so... You're not the only one. Yo, what's that girl doing? Oh no, she's gonna get hurt. Let's go. Who are you? Your bloody hero. Anyway, let's kill this thing. Crystal worm does not even look like a crystal, but okay. Oh my god, the sound effects so sweet. So tiny compared to the music for some reason. I don't think the boss is that hard. I don't remember very well. <laughs> yeah, we advanced from Fomancy 9 to Fomancy 10. I know you went away, Luria, but like, I'll, I'm gonna put it on a. I'll make it a video so you can watch what happened. 
because you missed some really stupid shit. <laughs> At least some people found that funny, so yeah. <laughs> Phew, thanks for the help, who are you? I'm Vegnagun, this is my friends Mestina and Pickett. Who are you? I'm Maxana, proud warrior of the Bajerban tribe. But the rest of the miners were eaten or killed by the worm. Anyways, where are you headed? Don't know yet. Came here looking for information on the tropical rebel faction. Hmm. Them I've heard of. Well, maybe I can join you. We should look to the eastern edge of the desert. Uh, that was, uh, that's it's supposed to be western edge, not eastern. Yeah, Vegnagun. What, you don't like the name Vegnagun? Do you know who Vegnagun is going to be? Vegnagun is in the game that you play. Vegnagun is Gary. Uh, I've already said that to people, but I know you've just came back. Vegnagun is Gary, Mistina is Farina, and Axana doesn't exist in my current game. And Pickett's Pickett, but it doesn't look like that. Actually, yes, Jen, when I made this, I called it Mist, and the Ina was based off of Bustina. So, yeah, kind of was named after the cat, Bustina. I uh, can hear sounds from below, but it's way too dark. Um, legit, I have no idea what that's all about, but okay. I no problem, Violet. Thanks for coming in, and good luck with what you're doing. Have a good day. Fully restored. But like, the general type of thing is kind of similar, like, the whole rebel thing is still here. Obviously, it's, this is going way too fast and all that, but yeah. You, you missed uh, Emperor Sephiroth Illyria. I think I heard a... I couldn't, can't tell if I heard a sound. The notifications you get like when people follow you are really quiet on me, so if I miss someone saying it, because I almost missed it earlier, then I'm sorry, but uh, I do appreciate it. <laughs> Pickett looks a little darker here. Aye, he does. <laughs> yeah, they all say the same. Hey, at least his music never went away. Like, this was how it was in the, the new game as well. Hello? Who are you? Me. Why don't you tell me your name and what you're doing here? Pekke, Vengnagan, Mestina here. I am Aksana. We are here looking for the tropical faction. And may I ask why? To beat the crap out of them, yo! <laughs> really? And why? Because tropical will destroy Terra. Ah, I see. And what about Sephiroth? Do you know what he is doing? Yes, he is leading us to glory. WRONG! Sephiroth is using you. He wants to build an empire of destruction. And how do you know that? Because I am Marco Moreno. <laughs> I used to be his right hand man. But when he told me he was using the power of Nefesite to become powerful, I left. <laughs> and what makes you think we will believe you? Because if you look behind you, you can see Terran soldiers marching on us now. That makes no sense, because obviously, like, I'm not even going to explain it. Yeah, I'm sure you can understand, but it makes no sense. Oh man, this ain't going to go well. I, I skipped that back, so. We fight against the Empire. We can't be serious, yo! If we don't, then we'll be slaughtered by them. Enough talk. Prepare to fight. Silver bullet. Bird killer. I think these are default skills, like, why would I have a bird killer? I was thinking of adapting this, these, this trilogy, I guess you could call it. I was thinking of adapting it a bit differently. And it was going to be called, like, the Dark Timeline or something. And you'll see what I mean by that later, like, why I might have thought about it. I'm not sure about it yet, but... I thought it'd be cool to have like an alternate timeline of what happens if, if something didn't happen. Obviously it's going to be a heavy adaptation, not like what I've already done, changed it.
it's it's a bit sad because the third game, which is called the second game, isn't uh, finished. So it will have an anticlimactic ending, which I don't even know how far it goes to be honest. The thing is, I don't even know what music that is. It's Final Fantasy X, yeah, but it's. Like, I don't know which... Like, it's not from the default Famazi 10 or the HD remaster, so I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just downloaded it off the internet once. Oh my! What have we gone ourselves into? If you wish you could join us, we may as well. The Empire is already against us. What should we do? We have to systematically destroy the Empire. Oh, then Jen's gonna like this part coming up. The Empire Strongholds. The Gerben region is already ours, however the Mycidian, the Arcades and Baran Bal, however, are still Imperial territory. Amazing dialogue. We need you to help us take them. Start with Arcades in the southern swamps, then return. Okay. I guess it's not right now, but... Oh my god. You'll see what I mean eventually. So far, the basilisks. You can see earlier that the white boxes have gone, thank god. I should order fruit as well, actually, before it gets too late. Uh, what should I get? I don't know what I should get. I don't know why I'm asking you, you're American, like. You have all these stuff that we don't. A cat. Um, I don't know. I'm not really feeling hungry for cats. The swamp. Oh, nice. Mm, great. Look. Oh, amazing. Matoya's hut. Well, Matoya is still in the game, I guess, but definitely not the same thing. Oh, I don't want eggs for dinner. That's boring. Steak. Just follow the instructions you showed me. What? Just cook it and it's done. <laughs> All these things like uh, like fish and chips is the only one I can really get. Like I was thinking about like a Burger King or something. Something I don't have too often. Like. The only reason I'm fighting these enemies is so that I don't like get to a part where I have to grind later, you know? Ah shit. Oh no. Nah, we're gonna have to deal with the blinking screen, I'm sorry. Back to being alone. Medea's going home. I I you one Arcades is just self of us. I have a bad feeling about guacamole. Old guacamole, eh? Alright, come on, mate. Alright, come on, mate. Alright, come on, right. I'm gonna stop with that, that was annoying. Yum yum, thanks, Quina. Yum yum, thanks, Quina. Hi, I, Quina, I give good food to all for free, but only one per customer. The rest you have to pay. Got high potion. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, thanks, mate. <laughs> oh, why? Free high potions. It's like I keep entering, I have like a mustache on every time I go in. And she thinks I'm someone different. Alright, I'm gonna save this here because. Can't save it So, this is Arcades. Guess so. How are we going to capture this place? Probably by taking out the Jarl situated in the castle. Yeah, but how do we get out alive? Hmm, either we fight or we take him out secretly. Once the Jarl is dead, then Marco's men will move in the capture, so what do we do? I actually thought this was kind of a little bit a good idea. Like, 
back then, I thought it was a good idea. So I was kind of impressed that I did this, except I tried doing Assassinate the Jarl and it doesn't work. So we're gonna do a fight. Okay, I guess we fight them straight on and get out as fast as we can. Jarl Balgruff's wares. Oh, I wonder where I got this from. Oh, I am so unique. I changed them to du Dukes in the other game. I guess a Duchess for one of them, but I don't think they ever call it a Duchess, they just call it her name. Use me just talking around the tree. Kind of ash. Yep, the Jarls, I knew you would like that. I already saved it, but okay. Let's go! Arcades will never fall to the tropical faction. I like the name. Say that. These guys are easy, like, you can tell I've tuned it, like, a lot better now that enemies then take 20 years to kill. <laughs> the guards will see us for sure if we go out that way, okay, whatever. So you are with the tropical faction? I'll kill you myself. Jarl Balgurf. Okay. If anyone's played Skyrim, they know that I just ripped these names from there. Remedy. Oh, this guy's like this guy's a bit smart, eh? I hope he's not tanky as hell. Though. Although he has the exact same graphic as Sephiroth, so. He's not very smart anymore, I don't think. Is that all you can do? Oh my god. Ah, bested by idiots. Alright, let's go tell Marco Moreno. Oh, it's Moreno, we have finished. Okay. Ooh, no, I'm not going in there. Uh, uh oh. Oh, okay. I thought I would be like blocked. We didn't get that much money in this though. Last time you had too much money. Do we have to go all the way back to the desert? That would be annoying. It's only annoying because the encounter rate's so high, otherwise it'd be fine, but yeah. You know. the soldier. I'm trying to think what Final Fantasy game I stole that from. I'm sure there's a game where like, there's an empire that called the Terrans, but I can't remember what. Wait, isn't that Starcraft? I've not played that, but I'm pretty sure the humans in that are called the Terrans, right? I'm sure someone here has played StarCraft before. Probably Aluria. Like how the the victory song is like do 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 <laughs> But it, like the way that the the XP comes up is at a funny time. Oh, Alright, you play StarCraft, yeah you you'll be able to tell me if it, if that's true or not. I don't know. I know the Zergs. 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 Yeah, them. But yeah, I never played them. Not very into RTS games. Well, I thought you liked Civilization. Well, I guess it's not really a RTS, it's a TTS, right? Turn table system? I don't know. Alright, oh, yeah, turn Zerg and Protoss. I haven't been by the Protoss, they're the aliens. Well, Zerg are aliens as well, but they're like the. The psychic aliens or something, right?
I don't know why there's this a new song like in that one bit that you never hear anywhere else. What are you still doing here? Take out the stronghold. Ah, so you killed the Arl Balgrath. Our soldiers we be there shortly to take over. We now need you to go to the North Snowfield. What's wrong, Pickett? That's where my home was ten years ago. Something bad happened. You'll be fine, Pickett. Go to the capital of Brambal and take out Jarl Elsif. Report back to me when you do. Also, don't get caught. The Garrett's activity there is big. Very big. <laughs> um, I don't have a, I don't have an answer for you about that one. He's a bit lazy. Fucking Marco Marino. If you don't know, like, I don't think anybody's fucking said anything yet, but... There's a game called Tropical, and that's why there's a Tropical faction, and Marco Marino's the name of a character in that game. So... You can, you can tell which games I was playing, like, when I was making this. When I just steal their other names. Pharmacy 12, Tropical... Godzilla over here. Welcome to Megalo's Inn and Goods. What will you be doing today? Uh, nothing actually. Yeah, I think so. I only played Tropical 4. It was a decent game, but yeah. I only talk to people that I know. What's the deal with that guy? He's been eating there in silence for a whole hour. It's not even that weird. Another day's farming done. This world is going to be destroyed by the war between the Tropical and Empire. Oh no. He was in this version of the game too? He never left. He's been here from the very start. Rock. <laughs> the Super Yeti. He doesn't even look like a yeti in this version. I'm sure Aluria will remember this guy. He's been here from the very start. The mega yeti he was called, but now he's the super yeti. Aye, it was the joke, you fight this yeti with this rock music going on. Except this is clearly not a fucking yeti. <laughs> It was supposed to be like an optional boss, but I don't know what he's like in this. I spelled burning wrong. Old other world. Ah, the Mega Yeti is not that bad once you get higher level. Oh my god, this guy could one shot you. The Super Yeti, he's, he's stronger than the Mega Yeti apparently. Ah oh, shit, I don't even have any stones. That mute graphic is so obnoxious, but why is that? The Ghost Rider, the Mega Rider, yeah. Oh, he's not in this game sadly, but... He also has rock music as well. Oh, that poison is overpowered, man. Takes up more of itself than anything. But Lego is just the same graphic as the um, Shiver Freeze in the last game. And there's only so many graphics you can use in the default. And revive Pikmin, which sucks because he's the one, one guy who wants to be alive. He's way easier in this game, what the hell? Gives you a machete. I don't know why he has a machete, but okay. <laughs> so this guy, he goes and kills a dragon and shit with a butter knife. Alright then. <laughs> It's a bit much. Run 
away from the other areas. <laughs> I don't know why there's ghosts here. Here lies Zangon, brave warrior, brave dad. That was my dad. No, leave me alone, nasty. Blar, ha ha ha. What, what was that? Leave that kid alone, else we slay you dead. Arr, I have no time for this. Apparently this is a flashback. <laughs> a flashback where we have to fight. Um, okay. Ronald killed the dad of an ass secret. <laughs> So this is apparently what happens after Ron Ronald kills the dad. Ah, it's a pretty good boss scene, yeah. Hey, at least the Balfour and Fran, they were mentioned in the last game and they, they, they're they here, so I didn't just forget about them, apparently. Kinda wish I did. Although I did keep these characters in my game now, but they're com they're not obviously not Balfour and Fran anymore. They they're own characters. I'm sure Jen and Olivia will be able to figure out who they are, because they're the only ones that played it. Because I gave it to them. The demo. It's a it's a pretty big demo, but uh, I've got on demo anyway. Exactly as I thought. A weakling picking on the weaker. Oh, I'll find another. Perhaps another with ears like you, bunny girl. Hey Fran, think we should take him? The child has no one left, it seems. I think we should. <laughs> oh, I was expecting to like have to do it twice. So that was like totally pointless flashback. Have you ever played a game where you get an optional flashback and in that optional flashback there's a boss battle? Like what? That doesn't really happen. Please don't tell me this cave is the town. This cave is the town. Okay, maybe we should be careful this time, yo. Okay, the Yajaro should be up ahead. I'm scared, Pickett. Can't we just go back to our old life? I wish it were that simple, Miss Tina. Don't worry, we can do this. We take over the regions and go home, it's fine. Yes, Exana, you're right, let's go. Yo, hi, Liam. Where the hell are you? If you're... Are you in the house, Liam? I didn't hear you come in. Or are you at uh, your girlfriend's, Natasha's? Yeah, you're watching me streaming my fucking shitty RPG Maker games I made years ago. <laughs> Yarl Elsif. You must be those tropical goons that killed Belgriff. I tell you, I won't die easily. <laughs> ah, that explains why I didn't hear you coming in. Yarl Elsif. Stealing all these names, man. Yes, the Tropical faction is named after the game Tropical, which you got me into, Liam. I didn't revive Pickett, but I can't be asked. I feel like they're not going to be that hard. I hope Natasha's not watching. Uh, if she is, then hi, Natasha. Uh, sorry you have to see this. Um, hi. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Yo, she just healed a fool. She's way too strong. I should just focus on killing the minions first. Ah, uh, no, that's not good. If I heal, if I mute her, then I'm fine. Uh, because RPG Maker XP. I don't know how to make it full screen, but we're near the end of this one. The next game is full screen it by default, so don't worry about that. So that's why it's like this. I made this so long ago, like so long ago. Alt and uh, whoa, that looks very weird. Uh, thank you. Um, does this look okay? Oh, it doesn't show on the stream. Is it still small on the stream, or is it just, or is the game not showing at all? Um, 
I, un I undid it because I didn't want to make it that you couldn't see. Yeah, that boss wasn't too bad. Jack! The Jarl is dead? It must have been them. Tack M to the Imperial Dungeons in Mycidia. This this is why I call this the dark future. The dark timeline. Yo, thanks uh, Liam for subscribing, man. Didn't have to do that, but thanks. Um, I don't know how you managed to subscribe twice, but yeah. <laughs> how the hell are we going to get out of here? Oh no, we're going to be executed. Uh, thanks, Liam. I miss hearing that one. That's one of my favourites. <laughs> I'd rather die for Tropico than nothing. Don't worry. No one is going to die. We just gotta wait for... Your time of living is up. Time to come with me to the execution board. We only have three slots, so one of you is going to die alone. How about you three? What? No way. No, please. Haha, <laughs> stop whining. You were doomed to fail anyway, tropical fiends. And you, Mr. Loner, can watch them die. I no problem, Liam. I'll see you later. Bye. Boo, yes, boo. Death to Tropical. At last, we have apprehended the murderers of two Jarls, and today they shall suffer the same fate. Let us rejoice, our foes have weakened. Now they must die. Oh, please. Damn, yo. No, this can't be. They're going to die. I'm sorry, Mistina. Fake the gun. Exana. Sephiroth gives the signal. Yeah! What are you cheering at? Cheering for your false emperor? I let's. Oh, I am not gonna voice that. Oh, you can tell I'm a this when I'm young. I'm sorry. Uh, killing our friends, friends? How evil. Get them fools. Apparently, I've changed to the green guy. Well, if you're Fran and Ward, just randomly Ward makes an appearance. Now the reason why Ward is in the game is my brother, like, me and my brother when we were playing Final Fantasy VIII, uh, I don't know, he just joked that Ward was the best character for some reason. I think it's because we did a bunch of fights and Ward would never get a hit in, so he was like the best character. So now he's just kind of a meme, like a meme between us. Who else do you know <laughs> those giant anchors at people? I mean, you're not wrong. Oh my god, I didn't even know you were here, Michael. What the hell? Smart, I mean. What the heck? That was kind of funny. Ah, can't you do anything? Oh, it's the same as the Yarrow, but green. My favorite. Green Sephiroth. I don't know why I used the art from Revenant Wings. I mean, it looks fine on Fran, but the face looks weird on Balfour. Green Sephiroth sounds like he'll save the planet. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I don't die easily. Beckett, I'm sorry. We all are. I know there was nothing we could do. My only other friend's gone. Well, we require you in the Alexandria continent, but first we need to defeat Sephiroth. What now? We go back to Tropical HQ, then take over Eastern Beach. Alright, let's go. What are you still doing here? Take out the stronghold. You are back, and with new friends. But where are the other three? They got executed. Damn! Sephiroth must have stopped at all costs. Must be stopped at all costs. We still need you to take over the Eastern Beach. Luckily for us all, 
you need to do is talk to the Jarl. She says she's gonna command her recently deceased sister's continent. Now go, return once you have done for the final battle. Once this is done, we will all be fine again. Yeah, once this is done, we will all be fine again. So much back and forth like though. I can't believe it, that was the saddest scene in game in history, like, I can't believe it man. These characters that we were so engrossed with, like, we were so immersed with them, and they were like real people. And they've been taken away from us by the Sephiroth. I can't believe this man, <laughs> it's just making me cry. <laughs> I can't believe What level are they? 25. Oh my god, I did the same thing I did in the other game. What the heck? Um, I guess I can't talk to her? Nice, imagine being a Jarl in your kingdom is a cave. That is somehow in the sky, but the what, what the hell? Oh, I forgot to take the stuff off of them. Need a hang for your last journey? Oh my god, I remember this because Smart, uh, when he played it, he... I, I fucked up, right, this... This axe was supposed to be 4,500, but I added an extra zero. So yeah, this guy ain't getting his best weapon anytime soon. Daedric Crossbow, come on, man. Daedric Crossbow. We've all done it, right? We've all done it. Worst overworld theme. But it's from your favourite Final Fantasy. Hi, I'm Jarl at Faris. Well, I'm gonna be a queen soon. Anyways, you must be the tropical faction, correct? Yes, I see Sephiroth's evil ways, which is why I will help you stop him by giving you this region of water. Anyway, you should go back and tell them that all preparations are set for the strike on Mysidia. I must leave now. Hey, maybe I'll see you in Alexandria soon. Goodbye. Alright then. I we're about this is the this is the end. There's not even a final dungeon, man. Whoa! I didn't know I added you into the game smart, what the hell? That's kind of weird. That you were added into the game. At least the encounter rate in this is a little less egregious. A little. Or maybe it's just because the maps are. or the game's smaller. I don't know. Right, let's go into this house because it's the only one I haven't showed you. I sense the fear growing in you. Are you alright? Yeah, I am. Just you know the war. You ever need us, just call us. Hey Piggett, hope you're doing okay. Come talk to me anytime. Doesn't really make sense when they're in your party, bro. Can I go in here even though... Oh, I can. It makes some sense, but sure. I'll go and see if I can get some Phoenix students. I I'll need them. Especially what I know I'm coming up against. Thank you for your patronage. I don't know what's up with this desert having grass as a path, but I don't know if it's supposed to be grass. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I like how the rebel base is just sitting there like wide open. That just a couple teenagers can find it. Um, okay, this dialogue has already been said. So you've got into the beach? Good. We will now strike down the Emperor. I hope you are ready. Tell me when you are. Ready? No return. We fight today. Take them all out. Pick it, you'll go ahead. Several of us nowhere left to run. Sit right here. 
You shall go no further. You see, I am too strong for you. If I eat this Nephesite, I will become a god. Only a fool thinks he can become a god. And you are most definitely a fool. Whether you are strong or not, I will kill you. <laughs> you killed my friends for nothing but your corrupt deeds. Why, why so much talk? I want to fight. <laughs> well, let's fight. Three of them. Hopefully the boss isn't too hard. This, this is clearly the hardest RPG you've ever gonna see. Like, yeah, he actually has clones. Yeah, he has clones. Like, oh shit! I just realized. Yeah, you're right. Wow, I didn't even mean that. That's kind of funny. Just realized what you were meaning. <laughs> Ah, well, that was a coincidence. Destiny bosses be like... I don't really get it, but yeah. Are you talking about how he has clones, or that he's too strong for you? You'll be 100% pro... You'll be 100% while well playing through my current game. Go around talking to all tons of people looking for easter egg names to appear. Yeah, I'm sure there is some that have been from here. I can't really think of any right now. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, we skits. Pretty much every Destiny boss, right? Sadly, the next game isn't going to have a final boss, but we'll have fun with it as much as we can. How much health does Sephiroth have to have? Like? His clones didn't have much health. Hecate is useless in here because he's so underleveled. I don't know what I was thinking, like, I just make it at the end of both of these games. You just get these characters that are, like, automatically at a certain level. Okay. Like a high level. Urgh, I guess the power of my trifold attack didn't work. I guess I've been defeated. Of course you have been. We are too strong. Or too strong. Ha ha ha! Eats Nephesite. Ha ha ha! I am all destroying. Feel my power destroy your bones. Damn, how can we kill this? We just strike it down. Oh yeah, another fight. I'm sorry Sephiroth, but evil lords always die. Haha, <laughs> you won't be saying that when you are dead. Well, uh, how can I answer that if you don't tell me who you think they evolve into? But most likely you're probably right. Yeah, the final boss theme is just the same as the other guy's theme. Bizarro Sephiroth Strikes. Literally just the same final boss from the last game. I probably, I probably didn't even make it that the boss is unimmune to Ah, but it doesn't matter. I can't deal with that anyway. <laughs> Hi Mopsicus, how you doing? And yeah, you're right, Illyria. Yeah, they do. 
that is exactly who they are evolving to. Uh, welcome to the stream of my uh, amazing game, uh, Sarcasm. Uh, in case you can tell. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. This isn't Sephiroth. This is Sephiroth Overlord. Like, it's clearly different. This is what Sephiroth looks like in uh, Final Fantasy VII. I don't know if I played it. Like, so I don't know. This is exactly what he looks like. I didn't even make the bosses immune to poison. So, yeah, this is gonna be too easy. <laughs> and yeah, how are you doing, Mops? I guess I don't know if I said that before. You should be doing for a minor vaccine. I mean, yeah, but like, the thing with the poison is it's a little bit too OP, so like, when you get to the final boss and he's not immune to poison. Well, it'd be this poison. If it was like poison from that wasn't doing like 8,000 damage per tick or 10,000, then that's fine, but this is like all of his health. I think this person's been healing. Yeah, that's not good. I don't want to heal the boss. Man. There's like no strategy. None. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like if usually what you do is you make the boss, or what I do is I make the bosses immune to a lot of status effects. Not all of them though. It depends. Yeah, not every boss should be immune to dots. Really, it depends. Like, if the dot's too strong, then it's a problem. But if the dot's not that bad, then who cares? But then at that point, it's like, why use the dot? I don't know. It, balancing is a hard thing. That's it done. Ah, no. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what you gotta do, Picket. Uh, no, I don't know what he's gotta do. Promise you won't die. We will meet again. Thanks, Picket. Guy. I got me a good fight. Yes, I got to destroy Ronald once and for all. And when I'm done, I will return here to see you. Goodbye. End. Created for Grimmies 1. Hey, at least, at least I got the end a little bit better. Like, it didn't have the end, just spelt with titles. Ah, uh, yeah. In memory of Regnagon, Misty Tanaxana. I don't think that's how you write in memory. I think that's supposed to be if real people die. Uh, I don't know, because... I don't know, RPG Maker XP was weird. Why did they have to die? <laughs> a side story to Ashura. Try Ashura to Angel Delight. That did, that's not his name. And Ashura 3 Wings of Evil, that never got made. See you next game. Alright, that's two down. One more to go. The last one. Uh, I don't want to do this because the title screen is so bad. Nah, XP didn't have face graphics, but it's fine because we're about to get some here. Sorry, give me a wee second, because it's late for me, so I want to make sure I have actually got dinner. But I'll still be on the mic. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Don't know why I'm saying sorry, but yeah. Bro, this app is so bad. Okay, but yeah, we got one more game to go, and it isn't finished, and it never will be, so please don't ask for it to be finished, because it's never going to be. But yeah, we're going to play it, because this is me just trying to talk. <laughs> hmm.
Well, actually, I'll go on it so we can see if it works. Um, well, everything just went black. What the fuck? Um, can you see this? Uh, so the first question is, you can see this, and two, what the fuck is this music? Because that's not what it was, like, two days ago. Um, anyway, here, welcome to the best title screen you'll ever see. Do you not want to see the, f the full screen? I thought you guys would like the full screen, to be honest. Ah, it doesn't work, work right, so you say all. I don't know what the music is, though. Oh, this is not. It's a bit small to see though, I don't think this is made very well for this. Alright, give me a second, I'm almost done ordering my food. I'm hungry, you see. <laughs> don't know why I'm saying that. I'm not gonna eat on stream though, because I don't like that. But... What's it say? Sorcerer's the Time. Yeah, that was the name. So, all the other things were saying it was going to be called Angel Delight. <laughs> well, obviously it's not called Angel Delight, because it's just not. Although, now that I'm, now that I'm saying that, like, I kind of like the name Angel Delight. Like, it's because angels and... Have you, uh, have, I don't know if you've if you ever heard of it. It's this thing called Angel Delight. It's like a pudding or dessert. Yeah, that's why uh, that's why it was called that. I still don't know what this title screen music is, because that's not what it was before. You know the Wii intro music it plays for Final Fantasy VIII, like, if you leave it on the title screen long enough. It was like, do, 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 that one. Not the, not the singing one, but the other one. That's what the title screen was. Yeah, I literally just took pictures. Alright, let's, let's go, let's go with this. This music. Game created by Gal of Quintus 101. Why have you known me as? I do not own the music for. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> don't know what that was on though. Oh no. Welcome, this is configuration settings. Name optional characters. Barts. Um, I actually don't like having optional characters anymore. Jack. I'm not gonna name him. Difficulty. This actually only affects the starting guild. We'll go easy. Show followers, I don't like that, but that's just me. Show location names, sure. Okay, you're prepared to go. Controls, Z, action button, X menu, shift dash, no pause. One more thing. Are you stupid? Well, are you? Are you stupid? I don't know. I guess. I guess I am stupid. Then open the goddamn menu and click save game. <laughs> You can tell I had a little bit of aggressiveness there. Three years ago on the continent of Ashura, a battle raged on between five heroes and an evil demon named Ronald. Ronald sought to use a young Vera named Medea to fuel his prototype death angel plan. The five warriors, Gallif, Kane, Trunks, Gerard and Pickett, climbed the power of the crystal to destroy Ronald. They rescued Medea and the Sky Pirates, Bafi and Fran adopted to the remaining peace for three years until an ancient evil has awakened Ultimisha and evil sources from 20,000 years ago. <laughs> it's too fast! It's too fast! <laughs> oh no. Ultimisha. I mean... It's, it's good enough now, but... Oh, this face is so bad. Uh, are you okay, madame? <laughs> uh, where am I? Is this Alexandria? Uh, yes, we're in Alexandria. Who are you? <laughs> me? I am Idia. Idia Kramer. Can you please tell me where Linda Blum is? It's to the east of here. Do you need help? No. I will be fine. Goodbye. Ah! Yeah, the character is so bad. Oh. Uh, yeah, she was a viewer and now she's a cat girl. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, now you, <laughs> now you know. Now you know. Are you ready to see Gallif again? 
Yes, I am, Uncle Balfour. He should be in the Terran capital of Mysidia, just a little to the southwest. I stole this from another game. What's this video called? What the fuck? Huh? <laughs> I stole this from another game. I don't even know where I found it, so I just put it in the game for no reason. I don't even know what it is. Like, it's just random people fighting. I don't even know, like, what movies these are from. That was weird. <laughs> Hi, Medea, you ready for the desert tour this evening? No, we need Galav. Right then, let's go wake the old man up. Fran joins the party. Alright, got some consistency going. Let me just open this app right now so I know which time it's going to be. 2350. Ah, um, I did have a thing in here where you get transported to like a, a secret area, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> Random NPC dialogue, you're like, are you ready to see God? <laughs> Sends player to heaven in the movers. Old Final Fantasy VIII. This makes sense. Apparently, Miguelo is now a dragon demon thing. Okay. Buy Chocobo. Oh shit, yeah, man. song that almost no Final Fantasy XIV players will ever hear, because who would ever hear that? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? I had a wee theme going on, apparently. I do think this one is the best of the three, which is um, definitely not a surprise, but yeah. Here lies the forest warrior, Mistina. <laughs> Mistina! was executed by Sephiroth. It's a lot faster paced as well. My god. I was getting a bit tired of the other games. A bit slow. The battles, I mean. Although the victory song is finally not a default one. Oh, I'm stuck by the chocobo. So, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the same island as the one that we just played like two seconds ago. <laughs> I'm sure we will meet again soon. I know Smart would love this. He loves it when I make the characters move slowly away. What was that all about? I'm not sure. He did look and sound sinister. <laughs> Wanna stay for Twinka? I did not want to, but okay. I guess I can teleport. <laughs> Where they made that guy suffer off? Well, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't make them much better. I hate this because I didn't make it where they, the graphics stays the same when you talk to people. Spile tree treasures. Wake up, silly old Gallif. What do you think you're doing, girl? Waking you up, Uncle Gallif. It's 1 p.m. We're late for our desert too. Yes, for you. I still don't know why I booked this tour today. I ship to Assurance tomorrow. Yes, yes, I can't wait. Come on, Gallop, let's go. Alright, alright. <laughs> you can probably see that on the stream, but hey ho. I hate having notifications come up on the desktop. Yeah, the beds are inside the wall, yeah, unfortunate. Sorry, there is no speech from Emperor Moreno today. I'm actually surprised with this, like the wee consistency I got with this. I would have thought like I would just be using random names all the time, but good thing to get into using consistency between your games. Can I buy armor too? Wow, I've actually made it affordable. What is this? Don't know 
what that was all about. No one could wear it. What's the point? They will forget a burger like they did for me. <laughs> That's all I heard of, pretty much, was a burger. And probably a bunch of other stuff. Didn't even really want McDonald's, but anyway. This is the guard tower for the Scoliatel Desert. You here for the desert tour? Yes, yes. Calm down, Medea. The tour is starting in an hour. But this is way over there. Over where? Over where? I don't know where it is, but no one else would. See, this is the one thing you can never do. Is make the text box go over the characters. If you have to, just add extra tiles at the bottom so it pops up. I did learn that eventually, just not when I was making this game. So how long are we gonna wait? Many a week quiet or we aren't gonna see Gerard and Trunks tomorrow. Okay, stupid gallop. Wait, I think he's here. <laughs> Anyone for the tour? Us, us. Ah, four of you. Yes, you've already put the tour right this way. Oh no, this is not good. Zoom. <laughs> First that way of the old tropical rebel hideout. Our emperor used to be the leader. We have revamped the place so there's no diseases, but it's largely the same. Ew, I hate diseases, they're bad. I remember this place five years ago. Yes, those were dark times. They were indeed. This is the main room of Tropical's base. No very big, but it got the job done. Talk to me when you want to leave. Uh, yeah, okay. girl. I didn't even bother to make the chest open, they just kind of add up here. I stole a bunch of plugins from like different games when I was making this, so that's why it's about got weird things. Alright, let's go back to the coach. Our next stop is Bujerba, the mining town. This is Bujerba, my hometown. Feel free to explore and meet me at the mines when you're done. Bujerba's a nice little town. The mines are up ahead. They used to be overrun with monsters. Apart from the fact they still are. Hello, I'm a person only you can see. I give a voice in the world when they need. This statue can heal you fully. Let, look for them when there's no in. Goodbye. I give on to you. Bye. Power! Okay, whatever. Hi there, this is Bajurba, Magnin Town. I am Jarl Hashmal's son. My sister died five years ago. She died for Tropical. Gee, I wish I'd, I had some of Jarl Fanfrit's warning. Gee, I wish I'd shut up. They all say the same thing, man. Hello, I am Jarl Hashmal. Though it was only due to the valiant efforts of Tropical and my daughter that I was able to attain this position. His daughter is Aksana, by the way. In case you didn't know. Uh, my, my nephew was making an RPG Maker game of this, and he made the first king, and his dialogue, he was writing it like you would text someone, like you would, instead of writing Y-O-U, he would just write you. So you have this king just talking like in text speech, like okay. Hello there, I sell potions and other goods. Let's go in. When we're in, I'll go ahead to make sure it's safe. <laughs> Is he trying to scare us? Can never be too careful. Let's see if he's okay. Uh, we need to save us. He has come. Take these claws. Yikes. No, I'm not right in there. So in the last game, left was the wrong way, but in this game, right is the wrong way, so I'm going right. What does this say? Here lies Aksana, a brave warrior and daughter of Jarl Clara. But it's Jarl Hashman. Shut up. I, I, I'm consistent. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, I changed it. I, when I was first making this, there was this music pack you could buy and, that you could get for free. And one of the songs, that it was called Bye, and it, and it was this like this guy is singing the word Bye, like Bye, 
bye 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 bye. I just skipped that because I thought it was um dialogue. I thought it was just items. But basically what was was um Bagamnon wrote a letter to this guy and hid it in a, ch in a um, chest. That relentless lizard still at it? Seems so bad for you. Is it too late to buy him some tourist insurance? What the hell is tourist insurance? I didn't even know that existed. <laughs> I wonder where I stole this boss from. Oh no. How many times am I gonna use this music? <laughs> Only turtles can beat us. Are you a turtle or a lion? Your actions will prove everything. Oh, I wonder what I'm supposed to do. It's Gogo. -Go. Has anyone played Final Fantasy V before? I have, so I can tell you now that you're just guard. I wonder what happens if you fight, but let's try. I didn't design this very well. Hehe, <laughs> you're smart. Bye bye. Yeah. I just got told I was dumb not long ago, so how am I how am I smart now? I wonder if all these weapons. Back. Um, so I was thinking that I would stream that um, other game, like the one that I'm actually making, but the thing is, is I don't really have the time, <laughs> so um, if you were expecting that, I'm sorry, but yeah, we at least get to do the stupid ones first. I might do it later though, like another day, like tomorrow or something, but we'll see. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, time for dinner. I remember people saying that this boss was too hard, or this, this thing was too hard. Well, I have no idea. Because this one I actually did give to a friend to play. Uh, a, a couple of friends, and I'm so sorry to them. Well, they definitely wasn't too hard. Not too shabby. Ooh, pretty picture. That is more than a picture. It's a mural, it seems to say. When nine and nine meet nine, the depths of reason shall stir, and a voice shall blah blah blah, and thou shalt know I have returned. Oh, uh, I totally didn't steal that from Final Fantasy Type Zero. I'm not sure what this means, but if it's true, I doubt it's good. Wait, what is that? <laughs> it is I, the fabulous Kuja 9. Now, you must never remember what happened to you. I told you, it wasn't, as, it wasn't much better than it being Sephiroth. Here, um... Uh, Give me one second, I need to answer the door.
Hi, I'm back. I'll obviously eat after the stream. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, the fabulous Kujo 9. The mighty Kujo 9. I actually preferred the battle of the last game because you could actually see how much damage you were doing a little better. Like, it just appears at the top here. I don't know. Maybe that's just fine, but yeah. Hardest boss you'll ever see. Kuja 9. I can't even tell who's attacking now. Yeah, I, I prefer the, um... I prefer the, the one of... RPG Maker NV, where it's like... Like on the side, I prefer that than on the front. I don't know what the hell that sound effect was. It was like, Man, this guy's actually kicking my ass. Oh, he's dead. What was that death sound? High potion found, Phoenix down found. You read the mural, but I killed your tour guide. <laughs> I will return. Yipe yipe, that was scary. Can we go home now? You still need to learn more about fight. I'll teach you later. I hope we have back as well. Hi Medea, what you gonna do? I'm going to the Northern Snowfield to come in. Why not? You might need protection. There's been some bad things happening lately. How are you holding up, Medea? I'm fine. You coming to the snowfield? Guess I will. Got nothing else to do. Sorry about what you had to see and do back there. Wolf we'll some time before we go to Ashura. I know. I'm gonna play in the snow. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. The chocobo is still there. I need to heal up. I think clearly I should have made it that the game heals you, but I didn't do that. I was about to say, like, I was kind of wondering if that didn't heal you or not. Man, this inn is so bad. It's just so barren, there's nothing going on in it. Um, I don't want to go there. Can you go there without the chocobo? Yeah, you can go. This is the guard tower for the North of Snowfields. Jarl Matthias is the leader here. That is weird. I think we should go see Pekka. He should be up at his house up north. I dare say that there's been reports of a yeti in the whereabouts. Not again. <sighs> not again. Do not touch the sign. Touch the sign. <laughs> he comes back again. How many times have I used this song? I don't know why it's even in this version of the game. Oh no. Uh, this time he's actually strong. Oof. I want to see what the game over screen is like, see if I put something really stupid on. Otherwise I would just try to run away. I guess this guy was supposed to be a super boss that you could fight early and then just lose to him. The deadliest sign of all time. I guess party was defeated. Oh, oh that's boring. I guess so we know not to touch the sign. I mean I really wish it told you not to touch it. You know, that's, that is surprisingly consistent with what it looked like in the other game. You like Zanka the brave warrior, brave dad. Let's just snow go. Hi, Pickett. Hello, Medea. How are you doing? I'm fine, Pickett. Say, why did you build a snowman? Um, if you don't want to answer, it's fine. Anyway, are you coming to see Gerard and Trunks tomorrow? Yes, I am, but I still have unfinished business here in Terra. 
I'll help if you have one. Okay, first, we need to go to the snowfield capital of Bramal. However, you now need a pass to enter. I just so happen to have one, so I don't know why I mentioned it. We need to speak to Yara Mateus, so let's go. That one there's more than Yeah, yeah, who, who doesn't know how to play a game? I don't know, I'll just keep with the default Python version now. Can't believe in this build of the game, Pickett was not even the main character. Now I'm, now I'm in my game, there is no main character. Sorry, you're no eluding you. It's me, Pickett. See, I got a pass. The others are with me. Sorry, Sir Pickett. The fuck was that? <laughs> um. That was weird. My beverage is definitely served chill. Increases max HP by 50. Whoa, what is this? Oh, Sir Pickett. Oh man, you would think he would at least say something different, right? Sir Pickett? What is it now? My spy recruits in Alexandria say something bad is going down in Lindeblum. Is that it? They say it might affect Ashura, maybe even all of Gaia. And what is causing this problem? Reports say that all this started when a boy called Reginald <laughs> went missing <laughs> and a strange tattooed woman entered Lindeblum. I recommend we stay out of this until further notice. However, Balfier and Fran are going to. We're not going to get involved either, so let's. So forget about it. If anything comes up, we will be ready. Does Emperor Moreno and the other Jarls know of this? Not yet. I was just on my way to tell you, then the others. Well, before anyone makes decisions, inform Emperor Moreno. <laughs> Watch out for a woman with giant steer horns for a hairstyle. <laughs> you know he will most likely hold a moot. You know, he never decides stuff on his own. If, a moot, if it's a moot he wants, then we will have to oblige. You still have to tell him. Okay, I will leave from the city at once. Alright. What was that all about, Pickett? Just friendly talk. Picky, you can't keep war and death matters away from her forever. We know what happened five years ago. And we understand about your feelings for Mistina, Vignagana and Aksana. Sometime me, Fran, will die. Okay. <laughs> and she will have to face that. So please don't hide it anymore. I understand. Sorry, Balfour. Pick it. Who is Mistina or Vignagana or Aksana? Friends who were executed during the top tropical uprising. Both your friend and Ward saved me. They were too late for the others. Sorry, you never told us that in three years. Some things don't need to be told. We better hurry to miss the Emperor Marino awaits. I don't know what's up with that teleport. Sorry, there is no speech from Emperor Moreno today. Guards, I need to see Emperor Moreno at once. Why is that, Sir Pickett? It is about strange activity in Alexandria. Alright, in you come, Pickett. Are the others with you? Yes, they may enter. This time. My cousin's out fighting dragons. What do I get? Guard you. I used to be a thief like you until I took a dagger. I don't want to finish that, that was so awful. Those other guards say strange things. That's just putting a light light. Let me guess, someone stole your sweet roll. Oh. What have I been playing? One time I went to Alexandria and met a nice boy called Reginald. I haven't heard of him in a while. Pickett, long time no see. How have the years fared you? They have been fine, Marco. Good, good, but I'm sure that you've come here for Idle Banner. Sadly not. I've been worrying news. Lindblom, the port town of Alexandria, has been silenced. I don't know why, but there have been reports of a tattooed woman in the midst. Perhaps we should do something. 
a decision like this could require a move. I will notify the other girls at once. Damn, we can't seem to co contact Jarl Kuruli. The Jarl of the Southern Swamp? If you wish, I could go down there. Yes, yes, that would be okay. Make sure he comes to the moon. I will be back. Can we come? Can we come? It's pretty dangerous down there. I can handle any swampy baddies. Well, there's no change in our mind. I guess we're going. Aye, okay, let's just send this child into politics and war matters. Yeah, that's fine. Uh oh, the water here is poisonous. Don't touch it. Ah, I didn't know that. I thought the water was. I thought the water was pretty clean. I was actually about to drink it. Wisp emerged. Oh, this is fucking my music. But this game was planned to be much longer than the other two, but obviously it never panned out. Auntie Matoya. Sorry, Midia, but Ronald didn't like loose ends. I'd like to look around. Literally nothing in any of the games we played hinted to this, other than the fact that that it was her um, empty, but that was the only thing. Her piano. How did her song go again? Oh, yeah. I just l literally stole a song for Vanity Night. Auntie Matoya. Do I have to go home tomorrow? Sorry, my dear, but <laughs> you have no choice. I'll come back. Yes, perhaps. <laughs> what? The... Oh, what the hell? Matoya is that um, cat girl's um, gran that is in my other game. Obviously, not called Matoya anymore. But yeah. Was that it? You had to look around to talk to her piano. Clearly did not design that well. That was like a, a really sad scene, right? I, I, I'm actually crying right now. My glasses are all messed up. Holy shit. Mm, better food does not exist. I thought humans tasted good. Okay. Hi, Aquina. I serve this food to all. Come eat Aquina Cafe. Aquina is all you can eat buffet. <laughs> Things. Back when hungry. Something's not right here. Did all the injured soldiers give it away? <laughs> well, fear enough, Joken. We need to find Yarl Kuhulain and find out what happened here. Uh, pick it? I think the way to the palace is blocked off. I guess it's the sewers again. Mistina never liked the sewers here. Yuck, I don't blame her. We don't have much choice, do we? Sewers are home. Those are the choices. <sighs> home is so boring. Let's go. Ah, your cooling has gone mad. Please stop him. This guy doesn't say anything. Let's go buy some weapons and shit. Buy some weapons from me. Stop your kahuli. I'm trying to pronounce it right, but I have no idea how to actually pronounce it. I used to call it kukuli, but I know that's not true. change in five years. Oh, amaze. Luckily we have Piggy here, he's been here before. Yes, except five years ago it was a straight path. Oh, well I guess we gotta find a way out. Anybody who's used RPG Maker has probably seen that they have these auto-generated dungeons and that's exactly what this is. Yeah, I yeah, see, you say that, you exactly say that. <laughs> the fact that you knew, oh. I had never ever use auto generated dungeons anymore. They're so boring. 
Well, one time I did make one, but then I like edited it. Like I got, made it like ledges and shit. But even that, like it was in a game that I don't have access to anymore. So now, nah. auto-generated dungeons, I'll get rid of them. Unless you're doing it as a meme. I don't even know how big this one is. Holy shit. Oh my god. This one isn't one of the small ones either. Exactly, they're all the same. And it, nobody ever puts anything in them. Including me, apparently. The only way to make it feel different is to like really edit it a lot. And at that point it's like, why don't you just make your own dungeon? I just know roughly where the end is, so... Yeah. You can tell I didn't like the dungeon when I'm running away from all the enemies. Or trying to. Oh. Get out of here. I just want to spend as least time in this place as I can. Fuck all genuine dungeons. Yar har har, Malfear, we meet again. Ready to be killed once and for all? Ugh, bad gambling, just leave us alone for once. I'll leave you alone when you're dead. I don't even remember I added this into the game. Oh, bad gambling, for how I said 12. I hope he's not tanky as fuck. Not Bagmanan. Aye, we didn't know how to pronounce this, so we sat there calling him Bagmanan. <laughs> the gamma took zero damage. This isn't the boss that was that I made him win. Once it's the next boss I'm gonna name. Because this guy can drop a weapon that has a chance to inflict instant death. And I wanted to make the bosses immune to that, but. So I made the boss immune to death and it made them literally unkillable. Which I think I've already said, but I'm saying it again. I don't know why I'm just doing default attacks when I actually have access to the attacks. Bosses are not good. You gotta make the boss like have, not be too tanky, but you gotta like make it do something rather than just attack. Like I know it's an early game boss, but uh, if it's an early game boss, it should be not tanky. Unless, unless you're deliberately wanting it to kill. You. So like I was sitting here saying how I made the enemies less tanky, well I was clearly wrong. Again, I almost feel sorry for the poor lizard. Maybe he'll learn. They'll do. So, uh, yeah, that guy was something. <laughs> Probably just another weakling like Ron. 
a little bit of unfitting music for these, apparently. Oh, I can't even heal. Oh, no. Guess we'll find out what happens. <laughs> what? <laughs> so the Emperor senses lackeys, huh? We did not realize the power she possesses. The power who possesses? <laughs> There's no point in telling you, your death is nigh. I, Jarl Kuhulain, will knock you all down. And I don't think this guy's any less tanky than the last one. I probably should have put Pick in the bottom. Oh well. Story makes no sense. This is the thing you gotta realize is like in your head it makes sense, sure, but then when you put it down on paper, nobody can read your mind. Well, it's not paper, you know. Like, nobody can read your mind. Nobody can understand the connections you make in your head. So I'm sure this made sense to me at the time, but it makes no sense now. I like how you get a phoenix wing that fully revives you like at the start of the game. I don't even really know what that is. It's something like... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It only gets mentioned at the end. I think for comments A, right? And then it just... Never really gets fully explained. They try to explain it, but... I'm not the biggest Final Fantasy VIII fan, which isn't really a controversial opinion, but... I'm surprised though, I didn't expect so many people to be watching RPG Maker games on Twitch. <laughs> I was kind of a surprise. I was expecting this to just be me and a couple of my friends. So we turn this a little bit more fun. I hope I've made it that he isn't immune to dying. Oh really? What a coincidence. For me it's really late, but well for my country it's really late, but for me it's not because I'm, I'm on night shift, so. This is a normal thing for me now. I don't know if you can tell that I come from the UK. I don't know, it's pretty obvious, but yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, he is enemy. He actually felt less tanky than the other boss, actually, now that I'm saying that. Ogre pants. Okay. No, oh, how could you surpass my power? Did she lie? Did who lie? <laughs> what was that? Stay on guard, could be another fight. When nine and nine meet nine, <laughs> the depths of reason shall stir, a voice like thunder shall sound, thou shalt know, I have returned. Have nine and nine met nine? What does this mean? Wait, remember that mural in any minds, and then that guy attacked? Well, his name is Kuja Nine. Then there must be two more, but where? Enough worrying, we have to see Trunks and Duran tomorrow. Maybe they won't know. Anyway, we need to report to Emperor Moreno that Jarl Kurulain is dead. Yes, but what of the moot? Can they do it with only three Jarls? Who will command the southern swamp now? <sighs> the moot will be fine. As for who is commanding here, well, it'd have to be Jarl Shemhazai. She has I, but she's only 12. How do you know that? Because she's my friend, we may at once. Wherever that is. But if she is 12, then she's too young, right? She could be any age, it don't matter, she's the heir to the throne. However, she will be, of course, assisted by who? So, sadly, there's only two people who can. Zorn and Thorn. Stupid jesters they are. Come on, we need to get back to Missidia. Oh, the time of day. Oh, you don't mean the time of day, okay. Why, why is it a good time for RPG Maker streaming then? I, I, I don't know. 
I, as in, I don't know what if there's like an event that happened or something. But yeah, I see. Well, we'll have to go on with Battle Four if we are. Who has decided we will seal all poor access tomorrow? What? No, please. Huh? She's been so excited to go to Ashura for weeks now. We were leaving tomorrow. Damn. I'm sorry, perhaps you're, I can give you a special return offer. You may go tomorrow, but you'll have to speak to Jarl Fanfare. He will let you on board the ship. Well, it's getting late. We should head home now. Thanks, Emperor Moreno. No problem. You are always friends to Moreno and Empire. Well, what's the event that's going on then? And clearly I am. Um, I ruined that event by having to show these terrible games off while well, everyone's probably showing games that are really good such as good games I don't know any good RPG Maker games oh a contest oh can I submit these to the contest oh damn it's ended already damn sad oh well now that we're all up let's head to Wall's capital an only city in the eastern beach bound to be an end over there, right? Like, I'll call it Overworld at the top left. This music does not fit. Yo, who is it? It can't be. Pekka, is that you? Yes, Vegnagon. But how? Sometimes bulletproof is coming in. What? <laughs> I don't even remember this. What? I thought he was dead as well. I don't even remember this. I'm sorry I haven't contacted you in five years. I wasn't even aware you were alive. Much less back here in Terra. How did you become a Jarl? And why Fanfrey? Marco Moreno. He let me become a Jarl, and my name is Fanfrey because I had to avoid unwanted attention. What? Anyway, you came here for the boat, and I will give you the boat. Just go to the docks. Thanks, Vegnagon, and welcome back. I wish I could say that for the others. Those were bad times. Such amazing character development, like his friend he knew hurt him for five years and when he died and his response is welcome back <laughs> actually should be seeing if I can buy any I think potions on me to buy them I clearly realise I don't have a healer although I think I get one soon yeah that, that this is um Oh no, I thought this was like a roof, so I thought like I would be able to walk under it, but clearly not. I get my armor from the fish, not really. <laughs> okay. What the fuck is a saret? I love right, well, we'll just equip it, whatever. Games not designed that well when they need to actually buy proper items. Oh, I didn't talk to this guy, let's see what he says. I don't know, Ken, what's what this is, Damien. So, are ye the scurvy sea dogs they want to go to Ashura? You talk, me. I'll tell you that as a yes. What is this block? Have a nice day! Yay, we're finally here! I can't wait to see Gerard and Chunks. Alright, well the village of Ashura is north of here, we better go. Buffy or something doesn't feel right this time of year, we better watch out. You there, where are you headed? Back home to Ashura. Alright, just making sure you weren't headed to Alexandria. 
but Alfenheim port is shut down and so is Big Bridge. Hopefully they will both be open soon. Until then, have a nice day. Big Bridge sounds so cool, I hope we can go on it sometime. If your hand legs can handle it, it's very, 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 very long. I I couldn't keep I couldn't keep track of that. Silly pick, it's probably not that long. Huh? Where are the guard towers? Terra is the only continent with guard towers. We can freely travel where we want here. Nice! Oh, Benny, well. Cockatrice. I don't even remember how I designed this, this uh, continent. This island. So you can have a few lots here. Enemies are tanky. This version of the battle theme is so bad. What the fuck? Why didn't I just get the default version of the battle? Theme? positive I've changed the encounters in my main game, so thank fuck because this is so bad. It's like 10 steps. Super Angel. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> what? That was great. Dancing Dad. <laughs> okay. Welcome back, Gallif. Nice to be home. No, I never got the same same thing. <laughs> Welcome back, Gallif. It's good to be back, Elder Poncho. <laughs> the land sure have changed in three years. Any idea where Gerard and Trunks are? Oh yes, they went into the Cyan Cave just outside the town. Ah, oh, okay, I should go see them. That place sounds cool. Yeah, three years ago, the ghosts of Cyan Garamonde haunted that place. However, however, us four expelled him. Did you say g g g g g g g g ghost Oh, she's quite scared of ghosts. Better go after her. Um, that one, that was actually like that. Not a terrible event. Like it wasn't amazing, but it was terrible. Oh, I got the most fabulous armor. Man, the shops are designed really badly. Though. This building. No. Just got this giant tall building, but not really nothing to do in it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. They fell into me that I'm stupid old man and you take a hike. <laughs> what the hell? I have no idea. Sure. 
here. It's this random German guy appearing in the game. Skeleton. <laughs> The thing is, I don't even think we'd ever get to see Ultimisha, like, uh, in this version of the game, unfortunately. Or maybe that is fortunately, I don't know. I am not fighting all them scorps. I throw plane, well, I kind of spell it wrong, but... Trunks, Gerard! Huh. Oh, it's you, my dear. What the hell are you doing in here? Galaf, help us, a new evil has taken over this cave. Whoa, it seems to be coming. Grim. Right, get him. Uh, it's definitely grim. <laughs> Damn, that's a lovely This game makes no sense. Just things just happen. Oh, that's not good. Just roll with it, you always do. <laughs> do you play lots of RPG Maker games? Thinking like if you play loads of them, you're bound to have found some really bad ones that people put up. Like I would never put this publicly, but I know it's bad. That's a that's a thing. But I like to have it just so I can see how how improved that have been. And then yeah, the stuff I've got now, see how improved I can get. That's true. You know, if it's bad, uh, you just saw fun. I mean, I've often fun with this a little bit because there's just so many dumb things that make no sense. This isn't really how I play RPGs. Um, I'll go to Kotel. It's because I was expecting this guy, like this game, to be super easy and these guys would just die. Aren't they all hard enough to like, play it like a pure proper game? But not for the good reasons. Got this hardest boss ever in the start. Oh, I finally stayed. It's just a filler boss as well. Oof, do you guys are good? 
been training many a very good, I guess, Balfour. Well, me and Galaf, really. Anyway, I'm sure you got our letter. Yes, we were aware you were coming today. However, we had to deal with that thing first. Should we go to your house? Okay, maybe you can use your magic, Gerard. Don't count on it. Not seen you in a while, Media. How has Balfour been treating you? He's alright. Taught me how to punch. I like this all day so far. Maybe more action will happen. I guess he taught you too much, right? Anyway, I'm going to finish this beer and I <laughs> think I'm going to be drunk soon. Gerard joined the bar. Oh, who lives on that pineapple under the sea? None of your business who lives there. Are you drunk? Drunk? Oh, you mean slam dunk? Nah, I don't play basketball. Um, okay, bye. Drunk's joined the party. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. I mean, we've been fighting for a bit now. Maybe we can get away from fighting. Maybe we can shut your mouths. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. What? Sir Lancelot, <laughs> what happened? Big bridge, someone is there. Elder told me to get you. He has many swords. Help. More fighting? Damn. Have we really got to go to Big Bridge? Oh, we ain't gonna do anything sitting around here. And I ordered that. Wait for it. Chocobo! Yeah, let's go. Chunks and Jack. Chunks and Jack joined the party if they didn't already. <laughs> Just like what happened at the end of the festival. What do you mean? I I don't I don't really I don't get it. Sorry. <laughs> I I am misunderstanding something. Oh right. <laughs> oh I uh, uh, you mean Festival of the Hunt, like from Balancing Night. Uh, oh shit, I should have healed. Why would he order a chocobo? Why is there a random house here? Um, are you alright mister? Yes I am, my name is Jack. What happened? Why is there blood all over my hands? No idea. <laughs> is this your home? No, this is class zero but everyone is dead. Do you have a home? N no, can I come with you? I am a skilled samurai. You know what they say, the more the merrier. Don't you start that rubbish again. I had enough of that saying when I was playing Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> Super Samurai Jack joined the party. Man, this game is so mid. Possibly the best game in history. Yeah, I'm actually gonna put him in the party because we need some healers going. Nah, no, it's Super Samurai Jack. What do you mean? It's a bit different than just Samurai Jack. A lot of music I took on this game, I took from another game, so I have no idea what it's from. Ah shit, I forgot the bow. It was a character from Pharmacy Type 0 called Jack. But then I made the joke Super Samurai Jack. That's probably default music. I don't know about this game, but in RPG Maker MV, you can um, use quick events, and I stopped using them because those look, those, look, those all seemed a bit default. But I might have used them here. The Green Lake Bridge, Jellyfish, my favorite Lake Bridge enemy, Jellyfish. Ha ha ha! Guess who's been causing trouble here? That's right! Me! Velvet's fate! Gilgamesh, come on. I don't know what this means. It was only a matter of time before Gilgamesh managed to appear in that game. Apparently. Skills. Oh, is that what they are then, huh? I didn't even know there was a samurai class in this RPG. I 
I don't even know which version of Big Bridge this is from. Might be Dissidia, but I've never really played Dissidia, so I'm not yet. I don't know my nephew when he was making an RPG, he also put Gilgamesh in his game. It's like Gilgamesh just has to be there apparently. And don't ask me where the big bridge came from. In like five years they managed to make a giant bridge connecting the two islands that weren't there before. At all. That just seemed to happen apparently. Like I say, things just happen. Sure, I can tank this guy on my own with Gala 3. Oh, not if he spams healing, no. I hate bosses that do this. And I know I'm the one who made him, but still. The reason why I'm not reviving is he spams his fire breath attack, so he's gonna just sit there and kill the people that revive. It's just Gilgamesh, kill him. I, I am killing him. Well, I'm trying to kill him. Program. It's no me. Uh, it was past me. Past me don't exist anymore. My dinner's gonna get cold, die. Ah, oh, shit. No. I don't even remember having to fight this guy. When did I last save? I am not doing all that over again. Not today. I don't have the time. I have to go soon anyway. Oh. Well, if you want to know that we were right near the end anyway, quote unquote end, doesn't technically have an end. Aye, that was pretty brutal. I don't know why he was so strong. But anyway, I um, since I'm going to have to go off, I guess I'll end the stream here then. Um, I might stream later another day, but I don't know. But thanks for coming, guys. It was kind of fun. I wasn't expecting it to be like this, but yeah. Uh, and yeah, um, I'm not stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> but anyway, I, I will see you another time. And good luck with what you're going to do. Uh, I need to eat my dinner now, so bye. <laughs> Sorry for the abrupt end, but yeah.